There's a button here, and if you press it, you get a billion dollars instantly cash. Yes. yes. But yes. it kills yes. one random person yes. in the world. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Your username actually isn't about your butt cheeks. Yeah. Explain. It's because. Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul. I don't know. It's a hard. It's a hard choice. Hard choice. Who has more to lose? Andrew Jake. Tate has way more to lose. Jake has more to lose because. Welcome back to another episode of UTI. Yeah, there you go. Say to the We all camera. have UTIs. <laughs> all right, go, go, go. Welcome back to another episode of Under the Influence. Today we have me, Vit Trap. No big Vit. <laughs> I'm Jeremy. <laughs> I'm Wuta. And I'm Little Buns, Esther. Yeah, your name is exposed. Just use your real name. Yeah, yeah. Also, speak into <laughs> no, the No, Little mic. Buns. I like that she's got a little moniker. You know? Wait, but I'm Little Buns now, actually. Oh. I've, stolen, I've stolen the name. My name is Esther, then. He so could be Little Buns. I'm Little Buns. All right, As you can see, because he's wearing... Comment down below if you like my new hairstyle or not. They're called Space Buns. Space Princess Buns. Leia. Princess Leia. I'm Wait, a, real quick. I'm a bad bitch. Princess Leia. Your username actually isn't about your butt cheeks. Yeah. Explain. It's because I like bread buns. And I didn't, so my um, original handle used to be like Esther something something, right? But then I changed it because I didn't want people to uh, see my posts because I started posting like more provocative pictures. So I changed it to little buns. And buns does not mean butt, it means bread buns. Ah. Why, why did you start posting more provocative pictures? Um, I wasn't getting enough attention, so <laughs> had to. Here's, here's some attention, move your mic. To, you, oh, you, yeah, yeah. You know how you... Because so, yeah. right now you're, you're talking yeah, like you're this pointing to it, us. Point it yeah. like this. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It's because I keep swiping. Okay. There we go. All right. I asked before. Oh, you did? Started, hey, and yeah. then make sure that the product... Play, the uh, big bit. The big bit. Oh. oh. Why? What's good with this? Don't push it so far away, though. This one? No, no. Don't okay. push the can... Bring the can why, back. Why, why? Yeah, bring the can back. Y'all need to learn. Y'all need to... Also, real quick... This episode is sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, no disgusting after. He's conditioned us good. Yes. He's conditioned. Now, <laughs> we knew. Good boy. Good boy. Can, can I have a treat? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and now we have a discount code UTI15. You can get 15% off your first order on our website. And also, this is my buddy Sandro's. Uh, this is Asian sparkling water. It's not. There's no alcohol in this. So for all you sober people, this is Sanzo Asian sparkling water, and this is their cool. Um, Jeremy Lin edition. Jeremy Lin. Yeah, so check them out as well. Lin Sanity. Lin Sanity. Mine doesn't have one. The greatest Asian That's you have man a different to ever grace uh, any literally sport. 20, 2012 when Lin Sanity was going on, I think every Asian was on top of the world. What yes. are you shaking your head at? That was the, that was the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah but see, Yao Ming was like a freak of nature. Yao Jeremy Ming didn't Lin, go to Harvard. Jeremy right? Lin was the everyday man. Jeremy Lin went to my high school. Dead ass. Mm. Dead ass. When, so How does it feel to always live in his shadow? <laughs> that you will never be the best Asian I mean, Jeremy to come out of your high school. I will destroy. And your last name is so close to his. Jeremy Lin, Jeremy Kim. The more I famous you get destroy. and people try to search you up, it's going to be like that Asian <laughs> Jeremy guy. Um, yo, you know what's crazy, though? You know what's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you just kept going, man. I could only take so much. I was only saying what was obvious yeah, to everyone in the fuck, audience. Man. I was just speaking everyone's thoughts. I could only take so much, man. Oh, man. Only... Don't drink this stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that was so funny. Oh, oh fuck. yeah. Right. And for everyone's like, oh, they don't drink nectar every episode. We're taking a break. Moderation. I uh, always drink it. Well, she's drinking. Yeah. Always. Anyways, what? Well, she's got a problem, though, but. <laughs> well, why does bitch just <laughs> By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey.
Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, nectarhardseltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text. That tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. Speaking of high schools, you want to ask this question? Oh, yeah. What was the wildest incident that ever happened in your high school? Because I got some crazy ones. This kid, this kid uh, that went to my high school died because he got drunk on a cliff and fell off the cliff. Oh, oh yeah. no. R.I.P. to you, John. I remember you were what, a nice What kid. grade was he? He was, uh, he, was my, he was in my grade. Like, I went to middle school with him and everything. No, but, oh. like, when did this happen? Uh, ju- junior year. Was he drunk? Yeah, they were drinking. There, there's, like, this night. So, I lived in Fort Lee, right? So, that you can see the view of the city. There's this beautiful view of the city skyline. There's this park where there's a cliff, a fat cliff that people go to, like, smoke weed and drink on. He was there with, like, some friends and then drunk, obviously. And then, I don't know how, but he... It's very hard to fall off this because there's one cliff. Then there's a whole separate cliff that's, like, an even bigger cliff and more sturdy. So he must have been on the second cliff, oh, fucking boy. around, oh. fell off, and he was like alive for hours after he fell. Oh my yeah. goodness! Yo, who who be getting the details? Like they I have know. they have those details. I forget how I learned, but I mean he was a popular kid, so there was a lot of oh. like we had like periods of mourning for like weeks after that. Damn. Yeah. Uh, make sure that shit was gruesome. Uh, well, so there was three. I'll start with one, two. From the time that I was a freshman, no, eighth grade in middle school till my freshman year of college. Uh, 11 kids killed themselves in my town by jumping in front of a train. It was like an epidemic. And like the CDC had to come in and they were like, what's in the water? What the fuck? Yeah, super strange. And two of them I knew, three of them I knew pretty well. And it was a shock because it was like, from the outside, they looked like normal kids. Mm. Yeah. And and one of, they all killed themselves at at different ages, but like all during high school, which is not. When I think about suicide, people that killed themselves in high school, it's like, Man, if you only got out of high school, yeah, you probably really. wouldn't have wanted to kill yep. yourself. You don't there realize were, that like high school is your whole life at that point, and you don't know anything yeah. different. You know, it's it's just the beginning of your Literally. life. Literally, it's not there even was, you haven't um, even begun yet. There was there was one kid uh, in I think it was freshman year, his freshman year, my sophomore year, where he committed suicide off of he was off acid. What? Yeah, and then uh, I guess he did acid that night, and then just killed himself, God, and then the whole sc- like. You, it, popular kid, uh, the whole school went into mourning for like, I would say like two weeks probably. Oh. Yeah. Do you think that it was the acid that like unlocked some psychosis or something? Or do you think he wanted to try to kill himself uh, before I mean, that? I don't know. I wasn't that close with him. So I, I have no clue. Why are these all about death? This is crazy. Yeah. Well, I got another crazy one. So uh, in, in eighth grade, I had this gym teacher. And for some reason on my old day... Always like the prettiest girls in our grade that were in my PE class would just like hang out in his office. And I'd be like, yo, why are they sitting in the office while I have to go run the mile? I'd make a big stink out of it. And he'd be like, Jeremy, like I would get in trouble for being annoying like that. Long story short, nothing happened with him and those girls. But many, no, hold up. Many years later, it comes out that he was, when he was in his adult age, was piping a high schooler that used to uh, babysit his son. (gasps) Oh. So he did end up being some kind of predator, but oh, just man. not from any of the people I around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think that when, when I was like clowning him and making those jokes that he was into those girls, he was like, oh shit. I he gotta. was pre-ordering. My, yeah. my school had one of those. Uh, she, was, she was a grade older than me. And uh, I think it was after I graduated, news broke that... Uh, no, 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 it was my senior year. So she had just graduated. And uh, news broke that uh, she, uh, she was fooling around with our uh, science teacher. So I, damn, my school has a story like that too. So this it was our our school's librarian was this. He's he was hot. Not not gonna lie, he's like a handsome ass dude. A lilf. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, he he was like one of the one of the teachers that all the girls like had crushes on in high school. Then it turns out that after I had graduated, one of the girls in the grade below me, I learned that they were like they were they had a thing like they were fucking after she graduated, which means that you have to be putting in some type of work yeah. when she's in high school. So it's like mm-hmm. that happened. Uh, that ha- well, what do you? How do you feel about that? Is that like grooming? That's it's grooming. It, right? it yeah. is if they had any type of relationship before. Maybe like I could be wrong. Maybe like she's like twenty years old. They meet at a bar and it's just like fully organic. But you know, mm. I highly doubt it. 
Yeah. Also, uh, you guys hear like the weird James Franco went to my town. And so when he high school. Yeah. What the fuck? We do. Jeremy Lin and James Franco. Devontae Adams, who plays for the Packers. What happened to you? Oh, no. Don't let's not go back into this again. I'm gonna snap. He's gonna man. have his little. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, well, th- there was another crazy thing Imagine that happened. If his mom was your teacher, you want to know something crazy? <laughs> oh, this- what happened? <laughs> this guy knows me way too well. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah, what yeah. His mom. Who's I'm, mom? A, I'm a published author. Auteur. I'm a published author. You are? Yes. Listen. What, is, what does that mean? Yeah, let's see. Listen. So James Franco has a mom, Betsy Franco, and I, I didn't realize she was farming us for information. But when I was in elementary school, this lady would come to my third grade class and she's like, hey, I'm a children's author. My name is Betsy Franco. And I'm making a book about like children's math. So she was like, an example was like ant plus caterpillar, like ant plus metamorphosis, no, caterpillar plus metamorphosis equals butterfly. So like we would write down all these ideas. Two years, when I was in middle school, I got a call one day. She's like, hey, is this Jeremy? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, hey, this is Betsy Franco. I used to come to your third grade class and you had this, like, I just have this paper here with your name signed on it where, and she said the question, I forgot what mine was. She's like, do you mind if I use this for a children's book? I was in eighth grade. I was like, yeah, sure. So turns out she probably published it, made a rack, and then I didn't get any royalties. Oh, harvesting children for ideas. <laughs> yes. Well, like, and I was like, genius. I something. But Did I'm, you even get like, Clout? Did you get mentioned? Dude, I have no idea. I gotta go hunt it down. But what's cr- I'm like, that's what a genius move by her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. smart, smart lady. Anything weird happened at your school? No, I wanted to listen to your guys's first, and then I was gonna pitch mine in, but I was like, never mind. Mine was not crazy at all. <laughs> what so was I'm yours? Just like, no, it was just a girl got pregnant. She went to secondary school, and I was like, damn. Oh, oh that's yeah. regular shit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah. I, <laughs> that's what I said. That's I what got I said pregnant anything. in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell with those with those buns for sure. Yeah, yeah. My high school principal was caught with child porn. <laughs> on, on the school computer at his oh. at the office. Oh, wait, why? This guy got no regard for for himself. It was that's crazy. The, yeah, it Not was safe for work. What the hell? Yeah, that's crazy. He that's wanted disgusting. to get caught. Nah. It was a guy. Yeah. Uh. Do you think it's because he couldn't control his urges, so he had to do it? Like I think he. And- I think he didn't want to keep it at home where his wife would catch oh, it. So okay. yeah, yeah. He, for some reason, that would be <laughs> yeah, smart yeah. enough. That's so, so, he, so, he was, so he was okay with like thousands of people seeing it, but not his wife, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. How did they catch him? Oh, God. It was literally on the school computer. So, like, oh, I guess an assistant or something was on it and caught it, like, after school, like, once he already left. That's so wild. That's so That's fucking crazy. weird. My friend had a hilarious story. So, my friend was, like, one of those stoner kids. And he had, did you guys ever seen those smoke shops? They had those fake like coke cans or like fake like yeah. cream, and you can hide drugs in the bottom so he had his he had like weed in it and when you hold it it's like so obviously fake and if mm-hmm. you do any kind of shaking mm-hmm. you're gonna hear it cops come in one of our classes and they take him out the room because they know that he's been smoking he's like freaking out and he said that they had him in the backpack and the cop has the gloves on he's like is there anything in here we're giving you one last chance to like come clean and he's like nope and the cop is like reaching in the back talking to him holding the shaving cream can is like this is your last chance as he's like setting it behind him this is your last chance before he goes in the bag he's like nope and because at that point he knew he's like oh he skipped over it got away that is fire he was like watching it in his hand he was like he was like this while he was was like this is your last chance like and he was just like whoever that cop is get a new job that's (laughs) go be an accountant or something yeah but I mean, and he has balls though, the kid. Yeah, I was like, dude, I would have folded right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the worst thing you did in high school? Yes, two of them. Wear slutty clothes. That's it. Yeah. I didn't do anything in high school. Any, nothing bad. I was a very good kid. Wait, wait, wait. And slutty I still clothes, am. That's it. Fix the mic again. Why do you keep putting it that side? Hello. There? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Oh man. I was okay. I thought that I would get an award for never missing a day in class. And you didn't? No, I didn't get an award. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about you? What do you do with that reward? I don't want to say. Oh. oh, you did bad things. I did bad things. Um, ooh. Ooh. Bad boy. You actually don't want to say? Uh, Why are you always asking us questions and then you're not well, saying Well, he's a, like a, yeah, yeah, a got, business owner. Hey, hey, yeah, that's, you want a job? You're trying to keep yeah, the lights yeah. on. On the, the last, on the last day of school in, in high school when I was a senior, I had a truck. I backed it up. I backed my truck up to the doors of the school where the where the art room was, mm-hmm. and I unloaded the art supplies and put it in my truck. <laughs> What'd you do with it? I used it. He stole the art supplies. Oh yeah. 
my, was it a lot? I literally Fuck backed my hilarious. truck up onto like the sidewalk and shit. What did you, uh, okay, like it was crazy. that much shit? Like, yeah. I got a funny one actually. Our, so, our supplies are expensive. Yeah, they, they are, are, they are, they are. They are. Yeah, I got a funny one. So we were one of three high schools in the entire country that had a glass blowing studio. So like straight, oh. yeah, just some Palo Alto shit. And, uh, there was a day that there was a there was a TA helper guy and then the main art teacher and glass. Once you make the the once you make the piece, it needs a full day to cl- uh, cool down and then you could pick it up the next day. So there were certain days in the summer when I would help uh, w- w- in the art studio where the TA would come in the next morning instead of the teacher. So one day as a joke, I made a dildo, and uh, it was hilarious because I thought, oh, the TA is going to show up. He doesn't care if I kind of joke around like this. Mm-hmm. And I walk in, and the guy's like, everybody come in here, holding the dildo. He's like, who made this? <laughs> oh who made goodness. this? And nobody ratted me out, but yeah. That's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious. And he just tossed it? He tossed it, but the better part of the story is because it's summer, and the janitors weren't coming every day, a month later, I'm like washing my hands, and I throw a paper towel away, and I see something glisten at the bottom. <laughs> The dildo. My dildo. Would you yeah. use a glass like, dildo? Pulling it no. out, of a, Why not? out of the rock. Scared? Edward Sword. No, <laughs> not scared. I usually don't use dildos. Oh, Just a you... vibrator. Oh. Yeah. So you don't like penetration, you like clit. Only by real men. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking like, did you want like a dude to use it? And then... <laughs> what about you? God, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I mean this guy. Brains. He's like, what did he do? He's like, he's like, I brought guns, knives. <laughs> Attempted murder. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That was that was. Wait, after. You guys are bad. Wait, did you say something? Uh, you didn't say your. Not shit. that I did, but I didn't. I was a good kid in high school. I mm-hmm. I got booked in middle school, and then mm-hmm. I came back reformed. Uh, <laughs> it was like watching the dude come back from like fucking brainwash camp, and I was just completely different. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm good now. Were you on the, were you on the anti D's? Huh? The I fought a couple times in high school, though, actually. But Same. Yeah. Were you on the, yeah, there's no way your temper like, oh, yeah, just yeah. held it. I was scrapping. Yeah, but I'm saying, were you on antidepressants when you are in high school? Uh, no, I think I stopped around junior year. I stopped taking them. I was taking more than, it was, it was uh, Risperdone. There was a few medicines, Clonopin. There was like anti-anxiety. They were putting you on, you on Clonopin, like yeah, benzos? Was, they would try, Clon- I've tried Clonopins like. Clonopins are prescribed for anxiety. Yeah, I've tried like eight different types of drugs when I was young. <laughs> No wonder your brain is shaped the way it is. Makes when I, a lot of when sense. I, when I went to juvie, uh, and I was like this like little Asian kid, and they were like, "Yo, what meds you take?" And I was like, uh, "Prozac." And then, <laughs> and then the kid was like, "You want to trade? I take like something." And I'm <laughs> and I'm like, it? "What does that do?" Oh, and he's just like, "Just hide the pills under your tongue and then switch it with me." Yeah. And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> just okay. swap it. Did not because he's just saying all the shit in front of the CEOs, and they're like, "Don't fucking try that. Like, don't listen to this kid." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> Fucking don't hurt me, sir. I'm just imagining you in an orange jumpsuit with space. space it was green. There were, there were green jumpsuits, but uh, yeah, I was like five foot one too, in like when I was twelve. So it was like same head scrawny. size though. He's <laughs> like a big head. Like, okay, okay. When um during during that little bit I did um when I was in Story County, so I spent a month in Washington County. Then the trans. Why, wait, why so many different with jails? Huh? You get a, you, if you get arrested was, in a different county. I think county? it was during. It was right. During uh COVID, uh-huh. so like jails were overbooked or some shit. I don't know, Damn. but they were they were transferring me across the fucking state of Iowa. Mm-hmm. So I went to I went to Washington first for a month, stayed there. Uh, went to Story County, which is Ames, so Iowa Cyclones. You know what I'm talking about? Is these um, sports teams or jail teams? What's what the fuck? The the, the club. Just, the club I, I, and, and, he see, and he looks at Brandon on media. He's like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> why, why, why do you? Why are you laughing? Like, the, yeah, these are prison teams. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys keep up with it? Yeah, yeah. He's kidding. How are the Cyclones doing this year? He's kidding. <laughs> They're in actual college, but in in uh in um, seven death sentences. But no, that's not funny. in Story County. Uh, when I got up there, I worked out a little routine with this guy where. I guess he had some like anti psychotic meds that would like put you to sleep, mm-hmm. and I had I have trouble sleeping, so every every day I would like give him a piece of my or I would give him my breakfast tray because I didn't wake up for breakfast. I would give him my breakfast tray every day, and he gave me half of his fucking anti psychotic meds. Wow! And I would t- I would I would uh take him at uh I think my routine was like I would take him at eleven and hopefully be out by like two. It worked. Yeah, the first night though, it made. I swear to God, I thought like I had a fever, I had sweats, oh, wow. cold sweats. I was like, ooh, I don't Wait, know if I want this. Wait, the nurse doesn't check like that they swallowed it before. They do. You that's why you, you yeah. put it oh, underneath and you, your tongue. And you let you, you took it. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's jail, man. I don't go. Yeah, you, that's true. That's true. The the funniest shit I ever did. So uh, this sparked a story in my mind. So you know, I'm 12 years old. I'm like literally half the size of everybody in the juvenile detention center. And I've tried fighting in the beginning, and you know, <laughs> did not work up. out for you. <laughs> and, then, and then I did win a couple times, but Fussy I was like, tube. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not trying to fight them. You know what I'm saying? So then, uh, so then, but he at a certain win point, a couple times. at a certain point, I fucking uh, I was like the longest. I had been there the longest. And also, like, once people, they always ask you, like, oh, what'd you do? And, like, my shit sounds crazy. So people did not fuck with me, like, or did not mess with me. This one kid came in, and, like, we were all friends, right? At this point, this was, like, I had been there, like, four months or so. Everyone in there is just friends. It's, like, a, honestly, a pretty chill environment at this point. One kid comes in acting mad tough, mad hood, right? And he's just being annoying. So he realizes that I have been there the longest and that everyone's friends with me, and he starts, like, trying to, like, get tough with me. And I'm like, all right, I don't want to fight him because I might lose. Because he's like 16 and I'm 12. So then I'm like, so what I did was I played into the crazy act that I had going on. And I peed in. So when you fucking, uh, when you go into your cell, they make you leave your shoes outside your room. So I was like, like late at night, uh, I had like good behavior. So I was like able to stay out later than everybody. So it's like 9 p.m. He's in his cell for bedtime. I walk past his room. I pick up his shoes and I go to the bathroom. I pee all over his shoes and I return them. And I made sure my boy, who was, his cell was across from him, I made sure he saw that. Later in the morning, everyone's just laughing at this kid because everyone knows that I just peed in his shoes. He's just wearing them. And then, uh, and then yeah, and then he found out he never fucked with me again. You know what's funny? What? The CLs are just watching on the security camera. You do the entire thing. They like, did not give a fuck. I know, I know. No one's like, watching the cameras like they're, that. They're, they're, like, they're like, look at this fucking kid. Yeah. That's super funny. Um, you know, Vit, you've also been developing a lot of new healthy mental <laughs> habits. Tell us about your new hobbies. I go, I go on walks now. I go on a lot of walks. I, 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 he probably smokes cigarettes on his walks. Do. He does smoke cigarettes Wait, on I his walks. I swear, I kept seeing your stories, and I was like, didn't he post this yesterday and the day before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been going on walks. Okay. So I've been going for the past like week, and this all started because I crashed my fucking car. What? So oh. I, I walked to 7-Eleven, and I realized, like, oh, this is actually kind of relaxing. So I started going on walks. Mm. Uh, but your neighborhood is like... It's a pretty bad neighborhood. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty bad neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. And I'm out there at like 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> you look like one of them. They don't bother him. <laughs> yeah. He's like chasing cigarettes the whole way. He's like looking I all crazy. Like, there he is. How long like, are your walks? <laughs> um, I normally go for like anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Circle my block and then mm -hmm. go up a little bit. We saw this woman tweaking on his block today. Oh, yeah. And then, and then we're driving from my crib. I live like miles from him, and we see the same woman walking down my so, street, bro. He, so She's he, that fast of a walk. No, like, no. he, he came to pick me up at, at uh, noon. It was uh -huh. 12 noon. Yeah. We see a woman on like the corner of my street, like tweaking out. There's three people around her, like about to call the cops. One guy was on his phone. They're trying to call, get her to calm down. I'm talking like tweaker, tweaker. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, and she, all she was wearing was like a yellow t long t shirt and no pants, no nothing else. Yep. Barefoot, like just Jeremy's wild. like, I wish I was there. Yeah. <laughs> so we w we went back to we went back to his crib to pick Eddie up. Uh, we're out of the we're out of the house by twelve thirty four. So it took thirty four minutes, and we're, we're we take a right out out of the street and we're about to get on the interstate and I look up from my phone and I see her and I say this more as a joke at first but then I really realize I was like oh yo it's her <laughs> still tweaking yeah. but this time on the move she's walking and she's tweaking on the move, she's just walking down the street just Dude. talking to nobody like hands flailing crackheads are modern day x-men they got superpowers they'd be doing oh, in yeah. like unexplainable things yeah we need an olympics for crackheads oh that'd be a good one they got if you could organize strength. that that would be uh, top tier entertainment oh my yeah. god i always feel a little bad for them though oh, i feel, I feel ba very bad for them but it's like you can't those people were trying to help her they couldn't even like yeah. she was like gonna attack them honestly mm -hmm. like wow. it looked crazy yeah so um, uh oh but i know i have more yeah, you have I, uh, new healthy habits. What else you do? New healthy habits. I read a book today for the first time in years. Dude, wow. cat in the hat doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it was um the laws. Of, what was it? The laws of human nature. Is that Robert Greene? Robert Greene, yeah. The, of course, a, a of course that's what he would pick. The fucking Robert well, Greene book. That yeah. or fucking the 48, 48 laws of power. Yeah, 48 that's what I'm saying. Power, it's yeah. a Robert Greene books like fucking manipulation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I mean I felt evil at first when I read 48 laws of power, but then the way that he described it, like he was saying in an Instagram video, he was like. These like, it's not that if you he's like if you read my book and you use it for bad you're a bad person. But what this is is just human nature and yeah. just understanding it. Like if you're a smart person reading this and understanding people's human nature is only gonna make your life better. And then when I came at it from that angle, I was like, huh. That, that's what I used to say. I read. I, I was reading that book with that in mind to begin with. 
I think around like law like 25, I had to give up because it was like, you say that, but then the laws are basically like, you cannot, like the law is literally like, if people treat you this, you still have to like, it's like changing the way I would uh, accept people's positive actions rather, rather mm. than there's no way to take that in like, a, oh, okay, I'm going to see this as a defense against the dark arts type. It was literally like when people do this, they have ulterior motives. Don't look at them like this. Mm. Don't trust them. That type of shit yeah. where I was like, nah, I can't read this anymore because it's literally, it's like reteaching all the positive shit that I learned to like get farther in life that was working. And Give me just like a hard me- example because... It's, I forget the law, but it was basically basically like you should only do, it's like um, people will only do good things for you in like a, in like, like a, like a quid pro quo way. Yeah. So you need to keep in that expectation in yeah, for something exactly. in return. So you need to always like keep tally. Like it was like changing my mindset. Like yeah. there was no way to use that positive. I don't like that. Yeah. I didn't like that either. So I, I like, I'm, I'm the type to like go out of my way to just do shit for people. Just like to be a kind person. But I also understand that. You know, sure, you guys do that, and I believe that, but I also understand that there's more people than not that do things with the intention, oh, I might get a favor later, so I'm very oh, cautious yeah. about who I take favors definitely, from. Definitely, definitely. And uh, most times I don't take them. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that that's not, it's not true. It is true what the book was saying, but it was more like it was hard to... It was hard to think of like the lessons it was teaching me in a way like, oh, I'm just going to use this. Like, I'm just going to keep it in the back of my mind. If I kept it in the back of my mind, it was going to change the way I behave just point blank. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys have like a book club or something? Because I, <laughs> I, I didn't read this Regu- book. <laughs> Regular adults read books. I am reading a book right now. What book are you reading? Aragorn? Aragorn or whatever it's called? Meditations. Oh, all about the dragons? The, yeah, that yeah, book right. is a bar. Went, went yeah. Yeah. Have you read that book, Meditations, no, no, Marcus Aurelius? I know the author though, Marcus Aurelius. Oh, Bars. you're reading! Yeah. I do read. Charades. Wait, you got to speak into the mic. Uh, I do read. Okay. Did you uh did you ever read the uh, the Warrior Cats series? Yes, I fucking love that shit. What about what about the, the owls one? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the owls hard. go hard. Oh wait, the is battle that, owls like no, 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 they would fuck each other. Wait, 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 is it that guy who would write about the animal kingdom and they would like what what was it called? I read those books too when I was younger. They have separate ones. There's one about literal just cats, yeah, like okay. stray cats they, that they all have like warrior clans? names. Yes, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. But what was that? The famous one? It started Red something. He had like a whole series. He built the whole oh, no. world. Wait, I know what you're talking yes, about. I used to read those. Yeah. They're with so the good. And the, yes. The... What a Wait, bang. What? Yes. <laughs> what? These yeah, are like children's like teenager books. Exactly. They were like super Harry popular. They were so fire yeah, too. They used they to be so my fire. favorite books ever. Yeah. And I was so reading them as like like a like a twelve year old. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so. Bro, fire. That shit would transport you to a different world. Mm-hmm. The yeah. owl one made me want to be an owl. It's because you know my I growing up my uh, my parents didn't let me watch TV or anything. So like books is was all I had. So I would spend literally like six seven hours a day reading books. You remember, oh, like, man, that. no wonder he's, he's got like decent vocabulary. No yeah. wonder he keeps correcting all of us. Yeah, <laughs> like the fucking. Now nah, he man. has one. He's a one trick pony. He can. Only and I. <laughs> and his mind is so prime for it. He'll be yeah. on his phone, not paying attention to anything, uh, and yeah. he hears you say that shit. <laughs> Vit and I. Right back to it. So smug. But uh, fucking, fuck. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you ever seen? You know those like teen like Nickelodeon shows that just used to cast the baddest fucking girls to play like, so like victorious. <sighs> Oh yeah, I ain't never seen any of those shows. You never seen that? Shit? Didn't Maybe have cable. Time. Didn't have cable. Yeah, I didn't Anyways, have cable either. I was in love with uh, electricity. That's where Ariana Grande blew up on. Uh, yeah, yeah, cat. Yeah. Cat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cat. That that I thought I I thought that was my type of woman for the longest time, and then I started meeting girls in real life that acted like that, and I was just like, mm-hmm. yeah, no. What's the no. behavior? What's like the character type? Like uh, cute, ditzy, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. like a little u- dumb, useless, ditzy, like yeah. so ditzy that she cannot do anything by herself. Yeah. And I was like, like if, you, so if you if you if you went out with her to an event and she just the shit like she would get into, you just like I'm going home with yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah, the ultimate you. smooth brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's what her character was. Yeah. Not, but not it's that Ariana Grande playing it. Yeah, that's why fine as hell yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but then there's another character jade uh oh, he was yeah. saying god like, mean I, yeah god mean the, smart the type of woman that would like spit on you and i would say thank you why are you why are, why are you looking into my eyes i'm jade huh no, no, no. no. I, I you're, you're more like you cat you're more like a cat oh my god not even come on you're you're uh tory's sister i was about to say that's the vibe what, you what give me you don't know who Tori's sister no, was? I didn't have cable. I'd never watched it. So to- Tori was the main character, and then her her older sister, who was hot, and like she was still hot, but they used to they used to Say bully no her like Say she, no more. they used to bully her like she wasn't, and she was like the loud, annoying girl that would invite herself yeah. everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, tell tell them about the seating change. Oh, oh yeah, so yeah, 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 we switched you. up because our this, seating this arrangement works perfectly now. Yeah, because why, why'd we switch our seating arrangement? I don't Jeremy? know. Vic. Why I'll, we ch- I'll tell it before you guys be nice. Put be nice. Words in my mouth. 
Um, last week's episode, I came, I came to record after a night out of drinking. Don't make it. Don't blame drinking. But I felt fine. No, that's not what I I felt fine. I felt not hungover. I felt fine. But my whole thing is, if if situations or environments that are too loud and they start to like overbear me, my body starts shutting down and I go into like a little shell. So I came here. And I was seated next to Esther, and <laughs> as we know, Esther laughs very loudly. And when when things get raunchy or or fun, she tends to speak louder. And uh, raunchy and fun. <laughs> it, it, it was just assaulting my eardrums, and I started <laughs> I started to I started to break down a little bit. And, started uh, hallucinating. Go to that go to that episode and just look at Vit in the beginning of the episode. He's like this, like. Uh, and and Jeremy uh, Jeremy had to. You need to stop drinking before every episode. And I looked at him. I'm like, it's you, th- not you, th- the you think this is because I was drinking? <laughs> It's her voice. He was about it's, to fight you. It's something right. that she can't change about watch, herself. Watch everyone on what the else, comments what it was. Agreeing, like, agreeing with him. Yeah, I know her voice is way too loud. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> I it's, agree with um, me. <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to sugarcoat. You are very loud and it hurts my ears. But I didn't want to say anything because yeah. I don't, like, don't want to come to you and be like, this part of you that is literally you as a person, I don't like it. Yeah, he no. was trying to be as nice as possible about yeah. it, and then Jeremy just decided to say it out in the open, anyways. Mm. So yeah, fuck it. Good job, I, Jeremy. I don't think I, I'm, I don't take any offense to it. I am what I am. Good. You yeah. you do have and thick also, skin. Yeah. Also, he has a better view of me now. Yeah. True. Yeah. Hey, and pipe down. <laughs> Too loud. <laughs> Fix that. That's why. No, in the beginning of the show, when I was laughing, I was over here like, <laughs> "That's good, right?" I mean, it's yes. not covering the mic. Cut all. <laughs> No, no, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's we good. still love you, though. We still love you. We still love you. I didn't notice. <laughs> that's a, muffling it. <laughs> no, that's good because then you're not drowning out other people talking. That's actually pretty exactly. good idea. Exactly. It's yeah. drowning I'm, out. I'm thoughtful. Thoughtful. Um, no, you know what's funny though? What you were saying earlier on text, you're saying behind every joke there's truth to it. Oh yeah. I don't fully agree with that. I mean, not I every joke. That, yeah, I think that if you really. I think that if you really like dive in and you like pick apart every joke, yeah, maybe you can align that. But sometimes, and I, I joke a lot, right? It's just sometimes it's just like people you know well, you're just clowning. Them. Yeah, no. That's him I, trying to. I said that as a joke. No, I know. Well, I guess, you know, I, I don't even mean to go at you. He just uh, means that saying in general. That saying in yeah. general, I've had conversations with other people like, oh, you're really serious about it. I'm like, I'm not. Si- mm. mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah, no. that's like the fucking the tar- the tarot card reader. Yeah, it's like, you ruined the joke. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I mean, I feel like if you're just even semi, like, if you're just a normal human being and your mind works normally, like, you can tell what is a joke born out of truth and what's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'd be saying some off shit off camera. And- <laughs> oh, we all yeah, know Oh, this. yeah, we know. We know, we know. <laughs> we know We're working this. on that. We're we working on We're that. changing him. Please give us, like, three years. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Or you can work. pay $20 a month to... <laughs> 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 Get degraded. <laughs> and it's not even an episode. It's just vit ASMR insults. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, right. yeah, you know those things in OnlyFans where they literally send in their dick pic and they clown Oh, the them? dick rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dick oh, the rating. ratings, yeah. yeah. Oh, do, oh, they want to be clowned? It's not even like, so. tell me it's I pretty? Th- no, I think that if they send it, they want to... It's not clowning? It's like rated. It's like positive. Out of 10, right? Yeah, okay. but what if you rated it through? about it. I think it's a genuine rating. Get yeah, on the mic. What, what if, hey, if it's three out of ten? What if they rated a three out of ten? I think how it goes is if the girl actually likes it, they'll give you like a decent number. And if it's small, guys with small dicks generally like to get degraded. Oh. Why? Because they know that it's they're like, blocking their not, blessings. No, they know that it's not something that the girl wants. So they're just like, all right, yeah. let me play into it. Like Eminem in that movie Eight Mile, he's like, mm. I'm gonna say all the shit that you're gonna say to me first. You think mm. he has a small dick in real life? Yeah. He didn't say he has a small dick. I think he said, no, in, I, heard, I think in another thing, he said like Rihanna or somebody. Mariah came, Carey. Mariah Carey or somebody like. I don't know. Someone he said he Mariah had a small Carey. dick. Huh? He had sex with Mariah Carey? I think so. Weren't they a little Because thing? they were doing that. Um, uh, Mariah Carey um, wrote a song. The Obsessed. Why yeah. are you so obsessed with me song? That oh, was about yeah. Eminem. Oh, if, you, if you see the music video. <laughs> was, um, yeah. All I want for Christmas. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only song she's ever written. That's the only song Mar- I know. Mariah Carey and uh, Eminem did have beef, though. Yeah, yeah they Wait, did. Uh-huh. But fun fact about Mariah, she Mimi? holds the most number one songs of any single artist. Really? Well, Over but Michael, that's, the, Michael that's a Christmas song, no? That Christmas song... Oh, no, I'm saying, said the I'm most saying number, number one songs. ones. Songs that have mm-hmm. gone to number one, mm-hmm. not as a band, because I think the Beatles mm-hmm. have more, but as a single artist, What other song does she have? One. What about Drake? Yeah, she has so many songs. That's what I would have guessed, but she has... She has 19 
What does Drake have? I think Drake probably like 13 or 14. Damn. He'll probably pass her at the end of his career. Bro, yeah. Drake oh, drops. Drake, for sure Drake will, hits yeah. number one every year at least one time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Drake? Drake. I love that. Wait, name. let's go back to the Eminem thing, though. What if she was saying that out of spite? That's like a girl's number one diss. What if it's like average? You know what I'm saying? And she just said it was small. And Wait, let's, let's move on. I don't okay, like this so, topic. All right. We're always talking about dicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, my bad. What is something that is addicting but you don't realize? Hey, no is more addicting? dick stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's addicting but you don't know? Stop. Huh? Don't what? say it. It's not that funny. <laughs> it's really not that funny. Is it because addicting? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's oh what they're God, laughing y'all. about. Come on. Yeah. Look at Brandon over there <laughs> giggling to himself. Us educated, us educated ones. We're the ones who yeah. read. You can see who reads and who doesn't. Robert Green. I was laughing. I didn't <laughs> laugh. I understood it though. Richard Green. I've transcended past you. Uh, oh, that was a good one too. Richard Green. That was nice. Anyways, what was the question? <laughs> Anyways. Yes. What? Hey, 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 hey! What is something that is addicting but you don't realize it's addicting? Why don't you just flick your tongue out like that? No, I was just like. <laughs> <sighs> What is what is going on today? I don't know. He's losing it. I think we need to put him in his special jacket. <laughs> Call him in. Call him the nurse. Bring right, him in. I can, I can, ne- I can yeah, never win on this on this podcast. Yeah, 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 I come with st- energy. Special jacket. <laughs> I come without. Talk. <laughs> I read. Uh, Vista type thing. Yeah. <laughs> we just be clowning him. Damn, I feel bad now. <laughs> don't feel bad. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys I have would an say. Un- yeah. What? I said, do you guys have an answer? Because you guys just kept laughing. That's you what I'm saying. I, I don't know why they keep getting distracted. What it's is a, something that is addicting? It's a podcast. It's answer. <laughs> you keep interrupting him. He's trying to answer. I love, I love, it's I love. a podcast. They want, they want to hear us talk. <laughs> just, just answer the question. Um, Vaping. Well, obviously well, vaping. We know, that it's we know that's though. addicting. He doesn't know it's addicting. He's just he's No, I am question. fully addicted. Yeah, there we go. I take pride in being addicted to that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I pulled this one from the internet, and <laughs> one of the top comments was the uh, the last chip. It's like you always, like if you're eating a bag of chips, oh, you're always eating one, one more. I think food in general is a good answer. People don't realize they're addicted snacks, to snacks. food. Snacks. Yeah. Snacks. Yeah. Snacks. Mm-hmm. snacks. I know lots about snacks. Yeah, you're, you yeah. are the... Pro- if I think of food Wait, addict, I think of Esther. Speaking of snacks... Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I was saying... No? Remember, <laughs> remember, Matt was trying to set you up. Remember you brought some gifts? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> she literally said thank you. <laughs> she, okay, was, she was being dead right, ass. Right, no, right, I thought right. that was a bit right, you guys let's, planned. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> oh talking to the mic, talking to the mic. Okay, anyways, I brought everyone some... Pepero because tomorrow is 11 11 and wow it's Pepero day which i have no idea what that means uh it's like a couple's <laughs> holiday in korea <laughs> i went to i went to uh well, no, the korean look. market and they had a whole bunch of these out and about and then oh, the man. korean ladies were mm-hmm. like uh they were speaking to me in korean they're like oh and they're Pepero uh you know it's gonna be Pepero day say soon right korean. say it in hangumai well how did she say she said um <laughs> 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 no, <I was> <laughs> she said um <laughs> she did everything I, but I, I Korean. Forgot, I forgot what she said. I forgot how she said it in Korean, but basically she said, Oh, it's gonna be Pepero Day soon. Uh and then I just told her I don't speak Korean. <laughs> and then she said it in English. <laughs> so I was like, damn it, okay, I gotta buy it. <laughs> but yeah, I, do you know what that is? Do you know what Pepero Day is? It's a couple's holiday. Oh, is it? Yeah, so you're supposed to buy Pepero for your crush. The nun for Utah. Because be- <laughs> <laughs> Because Be- Pepero Day is on 11-11, so it's like two Pepero's. Pepero is the Korean version of Pocky, by the way, mm. down with the Imperialists. It tastes so, so much Pepero. better. It's good, right? Yeah. The white cookie Brando? one is crazy. Eddie? Wait, Which I one? want one. Am I really one? not allowed? No, well, I'll go Not share. kidding. Mm. Which one? Yo, this white cookie one is crazy. Snowy Is it almond. good? Start opening them, all of them. Wait, I'm trying to lose weight. You <laughs> look at him. Anyways, 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 anyways. Yeah. Back to the original question. Uh-huh. Um, maybe are to, 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 to deep the question, maybe I would say uh, the pursuit of women. Mm. Oh, women. Yeah. oh, That's true. Yeah. It's case not, not, even, not even sex. <laughs> He's it's over here like, pursuit. I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the pursuit of like taking girls out on dates week mm. after week after week, to, mm-hmm. hitting up new girls. Um, I don't know nothing about that. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Well, Doc went real quiet when it got yeah. to this. That's actually why I started going on my walks. 
I got my heart broken by a girl I had only known for two days. I was like, who actually I'm talking to again now. So did she break your heart? Yeah. Actually, yeah. What, did she do something to break your heart? Yeah. What'd she do? We went to a party and she went home with her ex. Oh right my in front God. Of you. And you're still into her? You're talking to her again? She's so hot. Do you did think that the make name... you more into her or no? Do you think Wait, the what? name Top Munch comes from nowhere? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I said, munch, baby. Munch. <laughs> I said, did it make you more into her that she did that? No, I'm you know, a munch. I'm a munch, not a cuck. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Wait, you guys want to do a no, competition? I was pissed at her. Whoever eats the pepperoni the fastest okay. gets $100. Yeah, but you oh, have wait, to chew wait, and wait. swallow. Wait, wait. Anyway, make sure they're all the same length. You got to get the full size one. Yeah, yeah, make sure they're the same. Yeah, wait, ready? What are we doing? We're pepperoni racing. Ready? Wait, wait, can oh, you get hold on, hold on, hold on. Close your face. Can someone say, ready, get to go? You can't use liquid, and you have to... Ew! Don't... Ew. Hey, can I, can I you're more numbers. disgusting. Shut up. Hold Today on. you were over like. <laughs> yeah. I can't clean okay, my okay. throat. Someone count nasty. down. Someone count down. What the? F- oh. <laughs> mm, I'm there. Maybe we should we, sh- we shouldn't chew into the mics. ASMR. No, it's ASMR. ASMR. I got second. I, I win. Brando fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too good at a lot of stuff. Um. Anyways, thank you. Wait. So, what's the point? You give it to your crush, and what do they do? They should do take they, you? they know that you have a crush on them. <laughs> oh. It's like confess to your crush. Uh, yeah, or like you buy it for your, your girlfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> I might be wrong about this, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. No, I think it's I just think a it's... corporate holiday. Well, mm, mm. geniuses mm. at Pepito were like. That's so genius. Because it's 11, shaped 11. as, yeah, a ding, stick. Ding, ding. So if you're watching this, it's going to be way past 11-11. Is but it just like Valentine's It is 11-11 11 11 today. Basically, yeah. Oh, Similar. Nectar Day would be good, and it's like share a 12-pack with, with your crush. You just get wasted, and then... <laughs> Shotgun 12 of them? Yeah, yeah. Something good might happen. I feel like Nectar Day should be a, a national holiday. Mm-hmm. One day. One day it will be. 12-4. Nectar is, uh, is uh, Nectar Day. Do you have an answer, Miss Esther? Do you haven't answered any questions today. Oh, addicting? Mm-hmm. Or you. I you feel like I'm clearly I'm, I'm, maybe washing my hands. Are you addicted to Facetune? Or what's it called? Oh, yeah. Facetune. Tune. That's ah, a good question. Yeah. I, I already know I'm addicted, so that's not, that's, that's not relevant, right? That's not. Mm. So let's rephrase it. It's something like you don't know. Is what's, what's something you do a lot that if you think about it, you cannot live without doing it now? <sighs> okay, I wash... Oh, you're still on the hand washing thing? No, I was gonna say I wash my ass a lot. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, I can't more? ask you any questions, no, but, man. Mm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make it sexual. It's she always be, she mm, it always goes to, back to something no, related to that. Like, okay, the thing is, I don't mean to. It's not supposed to be sexual. It's just like when I use the restroom for any reason, and I'm at home, I always wash up. Oh. Good. Yeah, I just I just do, and yeah. I think maybe that's that's something that I didn't know I was like obsessed I with or. Addicted. Are you OCD about cleanliness? Yes, uh, sometimes, yeah. Most I did times. that for a week. Except I, when I eat because I've been I, eating shit off the floor. But. I ran out of toilet paper uh-huh. and I was too lazy to go buy n- more toilet paper. And every time I left my house to like go get food or something, I forgot. And then <laughs> by the time I got home, I was too lazy to leave. So after I sh- took a shit, I would just hop in the shower and wash my ass. <laughs> yeah. I did this for like a week. <laughs> hey, there's like, there's like corn chunks in the shower drain and shit. And I don't recommend this to anybody, but I wear I open only thongs. I only wear thongs. Same, same, same. Exactly. So you know how I feel. <laughs> and then like, you're not supposed to do that. But then I only wear thongs because I hate the line, the panty lines. Mm. When I wear leggings, when I wear pants, I freaking Ooh. hate it. Like and it. it's not good for that. women's private parts, you know? Because, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's so close with the butthole and the vagina. You know what mm. I'm saying? So yeah, really? I, I, I make sure I'm very clean down water. there. I think a lot of people are addicted to sex without realizing they are. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. We we'll talk. That was just oh, a yeah. fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Oh, addicted. I said a lot of people. I didn't, I didn't call anyone out. What about taking pictures? When you're yes. out. When you're out. I think it's validation. We need to be more addicted in the line in our in yeah. our we line of work. Suck at taking mm. pictures. I never take pictures. When I I'm only outside. have bad pictures of myself ever. Yeah. Me you know you know too. how like um there there are people that go out to. All they do is take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there are people that like, you know, live in the moment. Yeah. You're off your phone, blah, blah, blah. We're we're the latter where when we go out, even though our, our, our fucking 
how we make money is based on like Instagram or social media. Yeah. Or we need to we post pictures. <laughs> we suck at taking pictures we so much. And what makes it worse is that before we go out and before we start drinking, we'll literally sit and yeah. tell each other, we need to make sure to take pictures tonight. Let's flick up tonight. We have to make sure we flick up. Other people will be like, I'll remind you. I'll remind you. We all get drunk. Oh, and, and, and when we take oh that girl pictures, is bad as hell. And when we take group pictures, we look like a field trip. Inst- like I want like the cool artsy photos, mm-hmm. like the angles, like candid, like you know what I'm saying. We, and then, we like, took really nice ones when we were um, in Vegas. In Vegas, oh, we had yeah, a professional really photographer nice. with us, so it's oh. not the same. Yeah, yeah. I took doing? those. I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging right, now. right now, man. Oh, everybody, by the way, Jeremy's new channel, Nectar Vlogs. Follow yeah, that. Follow, follow that. Link right here. TikTok doesn't give a fuck about me. And you'll see all the behind the scenes. Just buy my account. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, that account was supposed to go away. Really? It was not necessary. Oh, yeah. Xi Jinping is listening. Lord Xi Jinping, please take away the account warning on my account. Please. Oh, my God. We have one? Yeah. Oh, I've, God. I've been at one. I ha- I, they threatened me with the perma ban. And I was like, oh, wow, wow, wow. I've, I've been, I've been perma banned. my knees. I've been perma banned twice now, and every single time I'll immediately appeal it, and they'll just immediately give me my really? account back. Yeah. But that means like they want to permanently delete it. But if you just no, it's ask like them. it's an algorithm that chooses like a machine, oh, and then if you appeal, like I a see, person see. will look. So. I see. I see. I see. Um. So do you guys all do you guys all tip in restaurants? Oh hell yeah! I tip yes. a lot. Yeah, I'm always lot. more than twenty percent. Okay. Oh, I don't know about that. I yeah. used to tip like 40% every time. And okay. then uh, I was going broke tipping. And I'm like, I'm too poor to be tipping. I right. always tip yeah. 20. This, and is then, why, this is why you're here. <laughs> and, I'll, and since I can't do quick math, I'll pull out my calculator and like times It's super point easy. Two. Very it's easy. super easy, yeah. Because if you do 10% of a number, you just carry the decimal and then you double it. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. didn't even want the math lesson. He's, he's, he's an English guy, you know? He's yeah. an English guy, yeah. yeah numbers you and I. This is America. You speak English. <laughs> Speak English, not math. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bit and I, we're very good. No, <laughs> you got it. You got it. But um, yeah, I, you got, I tried to. What about DoorDash? Do you guys tip twenty yeah. percent on yeah. DoorDash? Oh I no, I actually don't tip twenty percent on DoorDash. Yeah. So what do you tip on DoorDash? They're Fifteen. <laughs> they're always late. Fifteen percent on DoorDash. Wow. Really? Okay. Depend, I'll just like it depends on how big the order is. Like five bucks. Yeah. So it's just like an eyeball versus. I also look at distance. I'm like if you just had to drive a block. Bro, and sometimes I get I get mad tight. They should have the option of like no bikes. Why the fuck am I going to order an $80 meal alone because I'm sad? And then the motherfucker's bringing it to me on a bike and it's cold. It's already cold, yeah. yeah. And, and just like all over the place. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, who allowed bicycles? <laughs> like <laughs> curbs and shaking your soup yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? I ordered ramen and it came on a bike and it was, shit was cold by the time it got to me. Do you, do you also tip? Do you guys tip when service is bad? No. Yeah, no. I do. I do. I still do. I don't. I still I'll tip take it down though. I'll take it down. 20%. Uh, if, it's, if it's just like bad... And but they're like a nice person, then I'll probably still tip twenty. It, service but, is bad. Mean means that it was definitely the waiter or the bartender's fault, not that it was like. Well, sometimes mm. I'll look in a restaurant. It'll be like two people on shift, and I'll be like, yeah, that's, okay, that's a whole out of their control. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's not their fault. But yeah. if they're like, if I'm like watching them, like fucking just walking around doing jack shit while I need that's shit all the time. About. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say. Is like, mm-hmm. and I've worked if, in restaurants long enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if um if if uh. If it's not their fault, I'll still try to tip 20. And I'll probably feel bad for them if they're super packed and shit. But if it's just like an asshole working, I'll take mm-hmm. away the whole tip. Mm-hmm. Like if you annoy me, I'm like, fuck you. I'll yeah. never tip nothing. Because the thing about that is other people in the restaurant get paid off that tip. Like the busters, food mm-hmm. runners, that blah, blah, no, blah. Yeah, so no you're like, check your that boy. Had nothing to do with. Yeah, check your boy. Why is he pissing me yeah. off? But he's above <laughs> them. So he can, I mean, they, they just have nothing yeah. to do with it. So I'll, I'll tip, but I definitely will not tip. I'm going to take away the tip and call 911. I don't like that. I'm going like, to make that. up a lie. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're shooting at this uh, Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> no, no, swatting, no, the way. Swatting at Texas the, Roadhouse. <laughs> the, way, the way you do it is that you say that you're, you're underage and they didn't card you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, wow! Mm. Liquor license gone. Wow! But then you're punishing the owners for a shitty fucking employee. To fuck the owners too for yeah, hiring. Yeah, yeah, but it could be like an immigrant couple this, this came to America right and used like you know the last of their money to start this mm. business. I'm petty. And you go- <laughs> Bitch, you petty. I'm petty too. You ain't never heard of Lil Dirk. <laughs> uh, so the reason why I was bringing that up was like if tip- tipping is optional in America and tipping is to basically like you're working to show that you're deserving of the tip, yeah. then. Shouldn't you change your tip based on the service to then, you know, make that what? better for you know better or worse 
for yeah. other people. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, if, if, if it's a, if it's a really really good server, I'll bump that shit up. Yeah, so, I tip a lot. Sometimes. Okay, so mm-hmm. if it's terrible service, then what do you what do you tip? What's like a fair 15%. percentage? Fifteen percent. I still tip twenty percent because it makes me feel good. That they're probably like being shitty to me. I make them feel bad by thinking. Most people I, aren't they, even they thinking probably, like they that. They probably no, won't. They probably they won't. Mm-hmm. They probably won't. But it makes me feel good, so I, I just do it. I'm just like you don't mean to me, but I'm gonna years. still kill you with kindness. Tip, uh, yeah, please financial dominate me, <laughs> please. <laughs> I feel like that's a kink of hers. Yeah, I'm into you. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeremy. So. Um, what is the? Uh, oh, oh, I don't like what just happened there. Did we see that? <laughs> It's been happening. I know. What you get finance? You want to be financial dominant? One, one, it's unprovoked, and two, it's always her coming at him. Yeah. Why? Why can't I? Why can't I? He doesn't leave, want you, man. Leave him alone. Oh, leave He's too alone. good for leave you. He has us. <laughs> why not? Get out hey, of you here. Funny? You know what's funny? You, you two are whores, and there's just women going at you left and right. The minute someone gives me a crumb whoa, of whoa, attention, whoa, whoa. someone gives I me know, a crumb I of attention. Really. He's joking, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And someone gives me a crumb of attention. You guys are like, shut up. <laughs> She's a witch. <laughs> what are your intentions with him? <laughs> we, we have to make sure you stay pure. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be and a, that, we, he stays focused. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Work. True. I'm going to be a virgin forever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, would you guys... Pre- so there's a, there's a button here. Button. Yeah, yeah, you're broke. You're you, you uh-huh. know. So just him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. Yeah, like, yeah right. so, so every day in my life, yeah. yeah <laughs> there's a button here, and if you press it, you get a billion dollars instantly cash. Yes, yes. But yes, it kills yes one random person yes. in the world. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I said yes. <laughs> I would say yeah. Yeah. Wait, let me let. Wait, just, uh, random, right? Nobody we know. Random. So random. Yeah. It okay. could be somebody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got layers to the question. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh no, he's gonna go through a meltdown. The answer is <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Interesting. Just instant yes, no yeah. questions asked. Okay. When we came up with this question, I said every one of us would say yes. Yeah. Come yes. on. Yes. You're oh, saying yes too, right? So you knew I was. <laughs> so you knew I was evil, eh? <laughs> hey, but let me say it so we could clip this for TikTok because <laughs> you kept going yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's a good clip. Okay, I think, fine, right? fine, fine. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck it. Okay. The second. Okay. Now the question has changed. Still, you get a billion dollars. Yes. <laughs> but, he doesn't but, care. but it's three degrees separated. What do you mean? Wait, what? So it's, I press the button. It's not you, but it could be someone that I know. That someone they know. It could be like it could um, be like it could be like Joe's mom that no, no, drops dead. Oh. One, two, three. Yeah. So it would bring well, someone you know pain. Oh, pain or death. No, no, no. Because it. Uh, oh, he's one, saying if he two, presses it, yeah. that I'm the I'm. I yeah, pressed yeah, yeah. it. I know him. He knows Joe and Joe's Yeah, no, I, Joe's I wouldn't mom. do it then. I wouldn't do it then. Because a billion dollars doesn't replace, can never replace that. Yeah, but what if it's someone mm. you don't like? Mm. I still wouldn't. Dirty. Re- I don't know. There's very few. Uh, I don't know. But it's, 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 I wouldn't I gamble. Come. I would never like gamble. Like, you know, I would never gamble that. Mm. Here's a different scenario. What if it's somebody you don't know, but every time you go to sleep, you see how they died every Ooh. night? Wait, for what though? What's the trade off? A billion dollars. <laughs> Well, I mean, I all do- I do is see how they die every night that I go to sleep. That's every night, gruesome. as you're laying there in bed, that's you pretty see gruesome. Do you still fall asleep and do you dream about it the whole night, or you dream about it? It's then not a dream. It's just while you're trying to go to sleep, just, you're like, okay, you get yeah. But then, do you eventually fall asleep, or does it fuck your sleep up for the rest of your life? No, it depends what kind I mean, of. I mean, well, coming coming from a trauma victim, and uh, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'll, I'll tell you right now that shit does fuck you up. Mm-hmm. I've had, I have a, I used to, I used to talk about it more, and I used to have mo- way more of them, but I had a. I have like these nightmares, um, and they're always like something of my like past, but they're like super like I feel like I'm reliving that scene. Mm-hmm. It Night terrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. used to have them almost like five times a week. Damn. Wait, and so answer his his new scenario. I don't think I would do it. Mm. Wow. I I think that would strip me of my humanity. And you're yeah, you could be. Happy I think you would really yeah. have to be crazy. Like uh, I'll just do it. Psycho. <laughs> Uh, I would I would do it and then find the family and give them like a hundred mil and just just anonymously. You're still gonna see it though. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. Wait, do, you, make me... do you stop seeing it after he dies? No. Just every day no, for the rest night, of your life, right? Every day for as long as you live. Oh, so as not as it doesn't stop when money. he dies. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Oh. Wait a minute. Then again, though, a billion dollars, I can always just go get a therapist. Uh, yeah. Also, you, exactly. I'm sleeping but you're still on. Gonna see it. I'm sleeping on like the finest silk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> my, the, the good, the good, uh, the good angel on my shoulder wants to say no, but the devil wants. But to it's say like it. you're not I harming like anyone. Think, I would you're, like to you're, think you're putting burden on yourself. No one's being harmed. Mm. I would like to think I would do a lot of good with the billion. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll suffer for a billion dollars. I wouldn't do it. 
I'll take the billion, change the world as much as I can, get as many statues of me everywhere, and then just die. I love how you said changing the world is just putting statues on. Like- <laughs> no, no, no. Change the world so that I get that. I said that wrong. Change the world. Editors. Change the world so that I could get statues of me everywhere. And then I'll die. You know, you know who else did oh, that? Fucking, oh. fucking the Khan. dictator of North Korea. Yeah, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> my fucking yo, my last name is Kim. <laughs> yeah, We're related. Kim Jong Un, right here. Wait, okay, let's go back to my Kim, scenario Kim, though. Uh-huh. It's oh, it's third Kim degree Jong-un. separated. Would no, you? I, would, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. Do no, it. What, would you? I don't need a billion I think I would. dollars. It was random. Yeah, it was random. Everybody yeah. you've met in your life, third degree separated. I, th- I think I would. I, I would play those. Uh, I would play those. I would play that lottery. You piece of a shit. Bil- a billion dollars is life changing. Look, like, man, I've been broke. Generational. Hey, man, but losing your friends, friends, your family, your, your entire Losing generation. your child at the age of like 40 is also life changing. And like but losing your mom yeah. too early is life changing. You know? Yeah, like, but what if it just so happens to land no, on. No money will, will what replace that. What if it so that? happens it lands on their like pedophile. How many fucking pedophiles are third degree removed from you? You'd you'd be surprised. You'd be hanging out with a lot of shifty people. My principal. <laughs> What'd you huh? say? My principal. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine he does. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But that's I what I'm saying. It's like a one percent chance of like yeah. you know of like basically ninety percent of the third people third degree separated from you. All right, so here, are. I would just simply hold on to that. I would just simply <laughs> surround myself with only bad people. No, but no, uh, we're late. still, late, we're still, we've already met it you. Could be, it could be someone you met at the club one night and third degree separated from him. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, you guys are reaching now. I would definitely now. play that lottery. Uh-huh. I would, no, 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 play no, no, that I would not the, play that Here's lottery. the new, here's the new scenario. Mm-hmm. You get a, you have to pick one person that you know. And Do they have I? to go, yeah, yeah, but you don't get to talk to him. You, you, don't, you can't like reason back, like, dude, you have cancer. I'm about to get a billion. Like you don't even, you're not even going to make it. You can't talk to them. Just know them? Definitely. Just, yeah, yeah. Who? <laughs> you can't what the fuck you're not gonna say who but like <laughs> i definitely know some people that are uh bad for this planet so oh, definitely wait do they have to know me back or can i yes. literally just pick okay no you have to know them i'll back. go on a first quest degree first to degree meet, to meet certain people no you can't meet you can't go on a quest it's like you're sitting here and you, uh, right you rub oh, the wrong yeah. lamp and the, it's like an evil genie damn yeah yeah i, I, I still got a mental list of people i want to kill off <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Definitely, yeah. If I gain a billion no, dollars, out of that, I mean, like this. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I you. have a list of people. And then, then you turn off. Like- <laughs> Wait, but what about you? Are you, if you got yeah. I, I wouldn't want a billion dollars, to be honest. Why? Uh, uh, shut another, up. No, you know why? So you would say I, I think, no. So you would say no. I would no. say no. No, but to be honest, you want me to say yes so bad, huh? To yeah. so a <laughs> billion dollars? Yes, yeah, to a billion dollars, because why do I need it? We Think about how so badly you can financially dominate me with all the money. I will do this on my own. With all the money. <laughs> Jeremy's yeah. good at no, bi- acting out. No, but you don't understand thing. how much billion dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just ridiculous, like mind blowing. Okay. She's like, you know, she's like, that's too much money. What maybe, would no. I do with it? Maybe, it would ruin me. Maybe, maybe she's rich, rich, and we're I not understanding. So. I think so. <laughs> I've learned. I, I've learned some things about her. It's cool. It was cool. What? I can't say that's her stuff. Oh. I just wanted to spark that so that everyone yeah, in the audience is like, we talk, yeah, well, yeah, maybe we're here. Ooh. Maybe we're here. Hey, maybe, maybe you guys should do an episode on me. We are. We are. Hey, would you be willing if are you we? revealed yeah. everything? I mean, eventually, I if she's I on the show long enough, we have to Interview, do one. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot do that. So make, what sure, about, make, sure I know, make sure I know when so I can skip town. <laughs> Damn. He's kidding. He's kidding. Hey, what about what about you? It's quiet guy. He's like, they're all dying. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't care if you I, give me a billion. He's like, I'll I would do it. kill you for yeah, free. Yeah, three thousand has hey, no hey, emotions. We therefore, are talking does not all care. over each other. Oh, you're right. I, I actually agree. I wouldn't want money that I didn't earn. Oh, I, didn't, I, no, I didn't. I didn't say that. I would. I would love to get. <laughs> I would love to get a billion dollars, but I not over. There's you know. there's so much baggage that comes with. Yeah. A billion dollars exactly. overnight that you're not prepared for. Nobody would be prepared More for. Nobody would money, know I had a billion dollars. More yeah. problems. You would know is the thing. It's, I would, would love to I would know start seeing Wu Tang statues pop up. I'm like, <laughs> he got it. <laughs> <laughs> Who died? <laughs> with the space, with all the space family bumps. members. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, and the statues would be of me in this haircut too. Oh my god. Yeah. God, I you can't gotta, wait. You got to be like, Sha- when Shaq got his first contract, he blew it all in like two days. Oh, That's yeah. what I would do. That's oh, yeah. what I would and do. And now he knows that he has to invest all of it. Like mm-hmm. he doesn't fuck around. Because yeah. it's like you you have no money and then you have all of it. And it's like, I'm just going to get whatever I want. And then you're like, oh, when, shit. Uh, when I, I got, got my question. When I, when I got my first lump sum of money, that's what I did. I just blew it on all my, not so much things for me, but like. Everybody, like my friends and family, I was just buying them everything. Yeah, they wanted. Was it the $20,000 from too. you know what? 
Huh? Was it the twenty thousand? It was that from- coupled with the thirty. <laughs> it was it was cu- that coupled with the thirty k from when I was arrested, plus another like I think like thirty. Thirty k from when you were arrested. Yeah. Well, you sued. Oh, you sued. Uh-huh. Lit. Nice. Lit. That mugshot made him bread. Wait, no, it was it was. That's why he was me. grinning. Go fund me. Go fund me. Go fund me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah money is also gonna change everybody around you. Like that mm-hmm. knows. That they'll know. Money. They'll they'll never know. They're gonna know. What do you th- they'll never know. <laughs> So you're going to keep it all, and you're not going to... Yeah, until it. the statues start popping up. <laughs> and by then, I'll have, like, a military, like, you know. No no one will be able to contact me anymore. Be like, yo, Wu Talk, we got to go to New York. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take myself. Like, what you mean? I'm flying Spirit. He's, like, in a private plane. No, I'm in, like, a fucking one of those, like, you know you know the the Marvel movies? The S.H.I.E.L.D. fucking yeah. um, helicarrier? Like He's fucking, burning his billion yeah. in a day. That's, I'm going to be, like, yeah, the fucking Empire in Star Wars. I'm Wait, scared to see statues of Wu Talk, to be honest. What is, uh... He's going to make the junk way bigger than it is. <laughs> <laughs> he like looks at the statue man. Giant he's like, balls. <laughs> Add some more there. Make, gonna, make, make him six foot five. Yeah. <laughs> Wutok's going to look at a statue and think, is my head that big? <laughs> is, it, is it really that big? At least you can get down a little bit. I don't think it's that big. But sir, <laughs> it's an exact replica. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, if you had a huge lump sum of money, like let's say you just won the lottery. By the way, the billion dollar lottery winner was in Altadena. Yeah. yeah. But he was close, right? And, yeah. the, and, the, and then somebody won the multi millions right after him, was also Fuck. in California. California be hot right now. Go get your lottery tickets. But, but they won all the money already. It picks up quick, man. So if you won a lump sum of money, what's the first thing you would spend it on? What would you go do? Uh, get my green card. <laughs> that was a boring answer. Can you say that? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm, not, I'm not an illegal. I have yeah. DACA. Oh, I'm safe. Show me your card. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no, would, no, 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 no. I would pay off everyone's debt. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Fuck. I'm God, you're say. so hot. I, I wish know. I had more debt. <laughs> I would, um... I was, my, I'm changing my answer. Mine was so stupid. <laughs> what was yours? What, what was yours, yours going to be? What was your original one? Dude, I was literally like, I was going to send a cold flaccid dick pic to everyone I hate. And then I was going to take all my friends on a private jet. And we're going to go to Thailand for a month. Why would you give them your flaccid dick pic? <laughs> Just because it's like, fuck you. Oh my but now God. they have your dick pic. It's like, and I'm pretty I sure that's, class- that's classified as like sexual assault. Yeah, that's definitely sexual assault. I'll get the best lawyer. All right, let's buy, cut this out of the episode. Nah, as I'm nah, saying nah. this. No, no, no. Leave that in there. Leave it in there. You're right. That's a horrible answer compared to that one. I know. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, that was next. That was two on my list. <laughs> that was definitely three. Three. Uh, I, I would buy my mom a house and pay off her debt. Yeah. And then I would pay for my sis. I would pay for my sister's college and then set her up just for the rest of her life. She wants to be a doctor. So oh, shit, Wait, okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting five, ten years. I'm going to start hitting her up like, hey, I need some money. <laughs> so. He runs out of that lump son. He's like, hey, remember when I basically made you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about but, you? Uh, uh, I, did, I did that to my little brother, actually. I sent, him to, I sent him to the boot camp for like uh, coding. coding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I basically said, I made you. You invested in him. You invested <laughs> yeah, in yeah. him. Yeah. Damn Wait, it. but what would, you, what would you do? I don't know. I guess like the basics, like paying off um, everyone's that's close to me, you know, their debts. We're and close, then, right? <laughs> this little mooch. <laughs> I don't even had debt like top that, munch so. and top mooch. Yeah. No, no, I am not. We're not. Top we're not. We're not making that mooch. a thing. We're yeah. not making. Don't, it. don't worry. Don't worry. Let um, her finish her answer. And then right. I think, and then like houses, I guess. But that's it. I, I have nothing that I want. I'm not gonna. You know. Mm-hmm. I would. Yeah. The, definitely. I think everyone is gonna take care of the people around them first. But what's like the first things you're buying? Like, materialistic yeah, things. Not, yeah, ma- yeah. not materialistic. It can be smart. But like, what are the first things you're buying? Mm. Private chef. Oh, okay. that's good. good. That's good. good. That's good. Private chef. Uh, along the same lines, maybe a private trainer. I'm buying mm. businesses. I'm buying like car washes and shit. Ah, uh, that's also good. Yeah, you online business. It, it, it just sounds like I know what I'm gonna. All do. of us are d- d- investments. Yeah. To to better our lives. Yeah. I'm buying Nectar Seltzer. Kicking him off. <laughs> oh, you're buying the company for me. The company. Please, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> My back hurts. He wants that. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. That's what I'm working for. Wait, guys, it is so hot. You that's know what why? I'm My saying. shirt is leather. I'm Wait, I'm that's leather? leather? It's leather. Do, do you know that um, a lot of business owners, the they make businesses to grow it to a point that they can eventually sell it of off? Of course. Okay. What is, of course. They're making sure you know. And no, I, it's because son. I actually oh, yeah, yeah. believe in nectar seltzer that I would like to have it. Yeah. Wow. What are you guys saying about me? <laughs> no, it's just, it was just learned, it's funny watching you learn things, things. You know what I'm saying? I just learned that uh, a <laughs> couple months ago, a few months ago. But did you? But so previously, you thought that people Wait, just did businesses for the rest of their lives? Yeah. 
Okay. Push yeah. it to low. That is that is the path. I think that's the probably the best path from you to go from a uh, a poor nobody to like billionaire. Yeah. That's like the only way. I think. Yeah. You have to grow and sell a company. It's getting harder and harder to break out of like a social cast. Wait. So we got thirty minutes. I think we should get into the dollar store therapy. We can always questions. just. Right. Ask her to come Let's, back. We have some other. No, 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 no Later, no. come later. No, no, no. We want. We, want we, we don't want the episode to go that yeah, long. Yeah, I have a question. Can we have a theme song or no? Yeah, it yeah. yeah. we're gonna song. sing it. U T I, U T I. Are there no other good ones? Makes a show that makes it burn inside. <laughs> okay. U T I. I like this. Oh God. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I just want to say this: Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul. Okay, that's really gonna happen, I think. Andrew Tate oh. versus Jake Paul. Who who do you got? Who do you who do you think is? They're winning? fighting. Uh, yeah, I think I think Andrew off. Tate is gonna it win could, potentially. I don't know. It's a hard it's a hard choice. Hard choice. My head says Jake, but I want Andrew Tate to win, and I have my reasons. Okay, so I think Andrew Tate is gonna win, but and I, I like this question though. Well, hold on. Let everyone go. Oh, around. my fault. My fault. I forgot y'all were there. I have nothing to say. She doesn't. Really you don't know. Who they no, are? I know who they are. I know who they are. But honestly, like, if Andrew, I say Andrew like I know him. Okay, but Andrew. <laughs> My guy Andrew. You know. My guy Andrew. Andy. <laughs> if he. <laughs> yeah, if he loses. Terrible for so, him. Oh my god, this would be so embarrassing. What about you, real quick? Because that's like kind of our next question. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, Andrew Tate will win. So on that, wait, who benefits? What about what about this man? No, Jake is the promoter. There's no way he's gonna lose. Uh-huh. He, he let. Anderson Silva let him win. Also, he didn't even like throw the fight as much, but they still gave it to Jake, even though Anderson's stats were better the whole fight. It's J- even even before the fight, they said, if if uh, I beat you, we have to create a like a fighters pay fund together. Of course, mm. why would you make that bet right before the fight? Uh, but but, but I, Andrew Tate so, is not the kind of person that's going to lose on purpose. So it's here's the true. question: you know How much money these people are getting? Who bet? Not there's a billionaire. No, He's not no, a billionaire. There's but no proof. He owns. He has. A, I don't think that, bro. His whole brand is reliant on him being like alpha yeah, and like strong. Who has more to lose? Andrew Jake. Tate has way more to lose. Jake does I not think. have anything to lose. Jake is fighting a Jake. pro fighter who has like mad, like ninety plus fights, eighty seven wins type shit. Jake, believe it or not, as as corny as he can be, he is actually changing fighter pay right now. Uh-huh. He's getting people bigger paydays because he's the promoter. He's got way more to lose. If if he stops now at six and zero, oh, this this run stops, and then the UFC regains its popularity, and like Dana has more control. I, I see what he's saying. I also I also it's, saying, it's not even about that. That that was a good point. I didn't think of that one. But Jake has more to lose because with Andrew, he is a professional fighter, and like when Conor McGregor loses, he loses like with honor. He talks all that shit, and then he's like, you know, I lost. I'll get better. Whatever it is. Andrew Tate is kind of in that same realm. He has all this money. His business doesn't even rise on that career if Jake loses he's now a boxer he's not a YouTuber he talks all that shit and gets knocked the fuck out it's 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 done like who like he's not fighting KSI he's like what's he gonna do like scrap from the bottom to build that name up I don't know he, he's gonna make his bread to where he can be like it just ruins his public image as, as I think that's what's gonna that happen for Tate creator. if he if he gets knocked out by because Tate was talking shit about now he doesn't talk so much shit about Jake Paul but he was so how, yeah. how many how many Andrew Tate fights have you seen? I've just seen like the highlight clip. Clip. Yeah, clips. Clip. He's There's he's slow. Two. He's he, he, he's There's slow. Two clips. Anderson Silva is the third best M, uh, UFC fighter in history. Well, I'm not saying I. Oh, well, I am saying I think so Tate will think win. Tate would beat Anderson Silva. In a boxing match, at, no. at Anderson Silva's age right now. Dude, he's still a. He's still. Uh, I don't know. We've never know. seen. I've so, never seen this guy. I've never seen a full fight of Andrew we, Tate. No, we've seen long enough. Kick, they, there's full fights of his kickboxing, and I yeah. watched it. And like, he's a good kickboxer. Yeah. But in terms of boxing, Jake has been training harder. Jake is faster. Jake is younger. Yeah. Like, but it's not. Yeah. Either he, way, it's not a true fight. So it doesn't. You know. I just. I just. And t- Tate, if he was training like Jake was, I'd be like, ooh, this is a fight. But mm-hmm. he's not. Yeah, he's been he's like drinking. Not. He's older. And and it's hard when you have it's hard when you have all that money and all those other businesses and you're it's like why would you train that hard? It's what's happened to Conor McGregor. He doesn't need to train hard. He doesn't mm-hmm. have like when you really gotta go and like kill it, like like you have something to prove. Like your yeah, life you depends have something on to be, it. And if you have all that money, it's like you don't really care, right? Like All right. I mean you guys are swaying me. I think maybe Jake will win. I can see it. Yeah, I can I see can him see winning. I, th- I still think Tate has more to lose though. 
He's already lost everything, though, in the past few months. Yeah, what but it's like, like what, what, it, what he has left is basically just relying on his image. So if he, loses, if he gets knocked the fuck out in front of everybody, I don't think he'll get, but if he did, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if it goes to decision, that's lame. Someone, if it goes to decision, we know it's fixed. And two, someone needs to get knocked out. I feel like out. I don't think that it's going to be rigged because I, I, I don't think Andrew Tate would be like, I'm going to throw this fight just well, for dollars. Well, that's what we thought with the past six fights as well. No, I could, see, all, any, I could all, see every single one of them throwing the fight they were for all money. They established fighters. They never got paid in their careers like that. Yeah, they would definitely throw a fight for money that's like that. That's why I'm that. saying this is good what Jake is doing because he's actually taking care of people that Dana doesn't give a shit about. Yeah. This is tough. I will say, though, these are... They're, 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 he's a trailblazer. Jake Paul? People have to he under, could fight, bro. Yeah. People have to understand, though, that Dana changed the fight game, and he actually has is better for the fights than boxing. Overall, median average pay yeah, for UFC boxing fighters. Boxing promoters are disgusting. Yeah, so, so when people clown on Dana, it's like, dude, they are the master marketers, and they take nobodies and turn them in and give them real careers, where but you wouldn't have the chance also in any I've other fight league. Also, i that most of the fighters that fight in the UFC only have good things to say about Dana White. There are people at the top that dispute them because they, when, they, when you get to the top, you should be getting crazier bags. Mm -hmm. But overall, Dana has done a lot of good things for the fight game. Yeah, they're not necessarily getting percentages the way that Floyd does because Floyd is the promoter. So Floyd can get like, what was it, four? It was like a $300 million payout when he fought, wow. fought um, Connor. Oh my that, God. That could never happen in the UFC. You only get. You, you only get 50 grand for a fight if you have the best knockout of the night. Otherwise, you're getting 10 grand. Like, what the fuck? Well, I, I think their bonuses could be better. Like, you could go raise some more money or get a sponsorship to pay people better. So, I think that, yeah, it's scummy there. But overall, they build, they market the fighter. The fart fighters don't have to market themselves. They put in so much effort to make sure they have the TV show, they have like all the, inter the, the way they run the interviews. They do a really good job outside of the UFC bringing all these people to the show. So, it's like, uh, I don't. I, I'd have to see their P and Ls to really be like, oh, he's a dick or not. But like, I think that overall, he's he's doing a great job. All right, dollar store therapy. <laughs> what a transition. <laughs> we suck at transitioning. Or are we good? Comment down below. Are we good at transitioning or are, are we, we bad? bad? <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, so this is where you submit your questions to the three, four, four smartest, five. most licensed, the five. Five most licensed We're smartest. Not licensed, that's uh. five most unlicensed smartest therapists on the internet. This is the worst. And intro if you don't ever. have, uh, yeah, if you don't have health insurance, we got you. Yeah, <laughs> we're here for the everyday. Then mow us a dollar, and we got you. Buy nectar. Buy my bar kits. Actually, yes. I need the money way more. I'm. I haven't eaten days. Please. I mean, but you looking thick for not eating. You look. I can't even. <laughs> I need to not eat. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> you killed um, like two bags of pepero. Don't call me out right now. Yeah, you're like, the, you're like one of the white girls from, uh, from Mean Girls. <laughs> why? <laughs> like she's like, oh my god, I'm getting fat, but eat something anyway. <sighs> I thought you were... Hey, like, let's I, stop I don't know why I heard, I heard white girls. I mean, what's called? White girls, right? White chicks. What, sorry, white girls. <laughs> white chicks, sorry. You're thinking of white, white chicks. chicks and the you're scene... Girl, you're a girl and you're all buff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buff. So I'm buff. You're so buff. I'm so buff. You heard that? <laughs> uh, chocolate first man. All right. First question. Discuss where y'all see yourselves in five years. Let's start with Vit. Oh. Wait. How is this dollar store therapy? Yeah. These are people. These are questions. Yeah, just, it, it's just a segment questions. name. Okay, okay, hey, right. don't ask too many questions. All right. You're, yeah. you're, you're breaking down the facade of dollar store therapy. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> I don't know. Like I've I've talked to you. For, I, that's not how I live my life. I don't. I know you said this. Exactly. That's why I said let's start with Vic because he doesn't think even a year ahead. Yeah, I, I really don't. Um, you don't think you should start thinking towards the future? I mean, I guess, but it's like that's just not how my brain works. What's the drawback of you not thinking about the future? I mean, what's the drawback of you thinking about the future? Not nothing. It would probably benefit my life. So why I don't just you start? Don't do it. So why don't you start? I mean, to an extent, I do think about my future. Like I. I do think where I want to take my career, what type of career I want to start more short making. Term, right? Huh? More short term. Yeah, more yeah. short term. Mm -hmm. And then like, I think anything long term would be like, oh, like I want to start settling down at like maybe mid thirties. Settling down, what relationship wise? Yeah. Mm. Mm. But other than that, like I don't, I don't. Damn, that's hell long far. way to go. I have Twelve a, years of being that's a far. thought. Thinking I had to think of well, five years. Okay. I guess no, I mean, fine. I mean for for it to settle down was my, oh, okay. like I was. I mean, like I, I think at. at mid-30s like 
maybe hopefully I'll be healed enough to be healthy and uh, smart enough to make good choices. And I think you'll be healed before then. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I think we'll speed it up for him. I was just thinking about this. If he reads the right book. One uh, book will change no, your life. Key, had that yeah, literally book, happens. That, hap- yeah, that yeah. happened to me. But even, even I, I don't know what's been going on, but I could, I could definitely see a change in my mindset the past like week or two. I maybe you should, too. maybe you should read uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Maybe that's the book that did it for me. Uh, change my, change the way maybe. I looked at money, 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 or, money, money, or money. a slight edge. Nobody it's about the compound effect. Man. We're okay. Uh, your turn, Esther. Me, I'm the same with Vit. Actually, I actually don't think. Too much. Look at the way the mic what is the positioned. Is yeah, on? what? Well, basic. No, yeah. <laughs> turn, turn it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's got everywhere but the mic. <laughs> Literally, she's I'm like. <laughs> no, I do this because my voice is so loud. I'm like saving them. Not no, 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 no. You don't gotta not, worry about you're, you're pretty quiet today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't worry about them. We can control that. I don't know, know if it's because I'm sitting over here now or no, what. No, because what you like, said to her no. earlier. She yeah, she got deep, really busy. deeply hurt. No, I'm actually working on myself. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Something in there. I take, I take criticism very well. Actually, she does. She does. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. do. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't really think about the far future. I mean, come on, like, I'm a college dropout, and look at, look at me, I'm on the UTI podcast. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? But, but we, like, collect dropouts here. Yeah. There's only one person that finished college, yeah. and he majored yeah, in yeah. anthropology. The, the, the bar is not high here. It is. It's not very high, but... Oh, well, but he... Okay, but it's I guess. still a bar. We don't want to compare ourselves And we're the two smartest ones here. I'm tired of comparing him to anything. <laughs> yeah, but you guys are from fucking... Where's your, where's your fucking... Fuck out You don't even use your degree. Okay, anyway. Hey, dude, you guys are literally getting into your old arguments like on the side. <laughs> He's not even mic'd up. He's like arguing with him. Come you on, don't even know what's him going on. They don't even yeah. know what's happening. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, next question. Wait, what about us? Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I hope that Nectar is a big enough place where we have been acquired. Nice. So you want to get acquired within five years? Uh, I want to get acquired within five years, and then, but I want to retain the marketing and the brand. Mm. So, so you want to retain control of the branding and marketing, yeah. and sell everything mm. else. Five years. The, oh, you think I'm sticking around when we get acquired? That's gonna be part of the deal. <laughs> no, you, you just I'm gotta, gonna put you it in a contract. You <laughs> okay. could push it. There's always buyout clause. You're ne- you're never allowed to just exit clean. Very yeah. rarely. Or it's like very, you gotta you, you gotta sacrifice ninety five percent of your shares to exit. <laughs> yeah, very he doesn't he thinks he knows his contract. He doesn't even read it. I slip in a lot yeah, of small I print. Didn't read it. <laughs> basically what, Jeremy's was like, Brando has to work with me in every endeavor yeah. ever. <laughs> whatever I whatever happens to me, happens to Brando. That's just it. You're we tied are, to me. We're legally married. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably he he's probably more tied out of anybody in his life, he's tied to me more than, than anyone anybody else because yeah, I slipped it in the contract. Facts, That's facts, the facts. only contract I have. With all my businesses, that's the only one. Got him. Wow. Got him. We and you didn't him. even read it. Or you can replace him with like a team of five. Uh, no. And you just call him all Brando. Like Brando <laughs> one. <laughs> what about you? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. but uh, also like holistically, uh, I want seven dogs. No, I'm just joking. What about you? Terrible jokes. <laughs> Could have just not gonna, said the joke. No, I was going to like go on longer with it. And I was like, it's not that funny. I cut myself off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Continue. Um, fuck. Where where do I see myself in five years? I would like to be also uh, like at the very least like successfully running a company like that I've raised for larger than like different. I don't think it'll be bar chemistry. The more I think about it, but it might be like something that owns bar chemistry, like the media, like the multi-channel network. Blah blah blah. I don't know. Oh, hopefully, Yuzu season would be big. Yeah, I mean yeah. that if so. The the plan for what my current plan is is to like. There's like all these different like channels and stuff that I got going on, and then like especially with bar chemistry, that's like one brand vertical that I'm building, the, you know, businesses in like trying to maximize the revenue, and then like Yuzu season if we bring that up, UTI if we bring that up, it's just like I'll prove myself as somebody who's able to start operate star in tons of content. I would also like to be on TV. I'd want I'd want a TV show. Drink masters, you little fucking scoundrels. Write the check. Yeah. What? I'm definitely better than at least four of those fuckers on that show. How many is it? Like thousands? Twelve. Oh. Wait, have you ever reached out to them? No. So why don't you you should have reached out to first? me. No. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you try that first before hopping on this? Uh, you we, we're, fuck. On it. we're on it. We're on yeah. it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're, yeah. on. We're, we're on to you. Yeah. <laughs> Season two, if it gets approved, I'm fucking on your doorstep. Like, hey, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Let me in. <laughs> you guys planning season two yet? <laughs> um... What, you what know, else? I followed every single one of the mixologists on Instagram. Now one of them followed me back. What? And the one that has the most followers is like 20K. 
I'm what? like, you little piece of shit. Wow. wow. I You're mean, it would be really cool to see you on That's a show, what, though. And, and it's also like, I want to collab with them. Like, some of them were fucking great, where I'm like, I'd probably lose to you. And that would be, <laughs> yeah. that would be huge for their career. That's honestly, what I'm honestly, they're, honestly, they're slacking. I got an idea. We should reach out to their PR teams to be like. None of them have PR teams. These are literally bartenders. They're not. They're DM not. Them. They're not t- TV personalities. You gotta DM them. Any of them work in LA? Why don't we just show None up at their bar? None of them work in LA. None uh, of them work in where, LA. Where are they? Uh, all over North America. So there's some Canadians, some uh, some some Americans. There's not a single bartender a single, in LA that made it on the show. You guys can't fly them out. No funds. No. Damn. No. Wait, but. That's crazy to me. I'll go to them if anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Not a single person in LA. It's open yeah. market for you. I mean, hey man, we're we're me and me and Byron are working on it. Byron you, and I. If you but. get out, if you. Get... He got me again. Got you again. <laughs> He's fucking beating me down. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I don't know what the fuck is this. This one was just funny. TBH, you guys look like you can't swim. <laughs> I just was like. Oh, He's a swimmer. That. He's a swimmer though. I know, but it's a, a funny ass dude. Why, 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 swimmer. Why, why, I taught myself how to swim. Anonymously? Yeah, I know how to swim. I'm just not fast. I don't know how to swim, I'm so like they're right. Splashing <laughs> OD in the water and just moving nowhere. I, no, uh, I can swim. I can swim. In 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 middle school, we had a uh, during swim class. Yeah, no, 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 during PE, <laughs> Dude, his like, facial expressions. During PE, there there were um, it was like six six weeks at a time where it would it would be like the pool and swimming and shit. <laughs> in PE? Yeah. Why are you laughing? He's just reverting what to the so caveman story. He said, B, pool, six, <laughs> six class. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it, it was six, six weeks of like, instead of normal PE activities, we would swim go to stuff. the pool and it was swim stuff. Mm. Yeah. And uh, well, during those, it was different things. It was like diving, uh, canoes, blah, blah, blah. And I was on the canoes and I was wearing a life vest and I got made fun of by two girls. So the next morning, I, I went, I had PE first period. So like, what, 7 a.m., 8 a.m.? I threw myself into the deep end, and I started paddling. And that's how I taught myself how to swim. What school did you go to? Why do you guys have so many, like, activities? It was called Summit Middle School. Back yeah. in, oh, bring bowling you, back. You taught him how to you swim. Was, you was rich, huh? You're, it was rich? Uh, it was definitely, like, a rich, canoe. rich, rich school. But I lived on the outskirts of, like, the school district. Uh-huh. And I was actually supposed to go to, like, the ghetto school. Yeah, yeah. But my parents didn't want me to. I said, I ain't never heard no canoe. Uh, it, was, it was a very, it was a very, very I went to rich. A weird school, so we didn't have none of that. Uh, that's actually a hilarious. That's a funny ass story. Bullying taught him how to swim. Yeah. Nice. nice. That's why I always say, bring bullying back. Bring bullying back. I stand. With this that world statement. would be much better if bullying much was still better. a thing. Some of those people in the YouTube Shorts comments got bullied. Uh, they probably would not say those things to us. And speaking of YouTube Shorts. No. What? Say something vile? No, 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 no. I don't understand the the whole like the world's mentality that creators just cannot speak up when they're being attacked. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't like that either. Like, mm-hmm. I firmly stand any, with anytime I get back. a hate comment and I respond, suddenly I'm the mean oh, one or yeah. I'm I'm wilding oh, yeah. out of this yeah. or that. No. That's True. I was a normal stupid. human being defending myself. Yep. What yep. are you talking about? Because like if we were on the street and some guy was just harassing me and I was just I'm supposed to just walk by him and ignore it. No, yeah. most most people would say something back. Exactly. And then on the internet, just because I am the creator, you want me to sit there and let this guy say foul things to me yeah. without pointing out how ugly he is. And most of the time, most they don't have a profile picture. Though. Exactly. That's most why. Of, most of the time, it's just little, me literally saying like, "Bro, shut up." Yeah. And yeah. Then, oh, I'm you're so mean now. Like, what are yeah. you talking about? I think the reason. Jesus. Whoa. 100%. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I think the reason, I think the reason is because as you're if you're a creator with a following, you kind of are better than that person and it's like take the bigger be the bigger person. No, that's No. I, I feel like people Absolutely I think that's so not. stupid. I think it's stupid. I think you should be. If you're if gonna you, call me yeah. dumb, you're dumb. Oh. Yeah, if you That's, if you put out a negative energy, and I, you know, kudos to you if you could be the bigger person. But if you put out negative energy on the internet just for unprovoked for no reason, expect it back. Like, be ready. But for it's, it back. it's not even about being the be- bigger person because, like, if if you're big and you're pop and you got clout, it's not just one comment once in a while. It's like Non-stop. every single day you wake up, you're reading. At, uh, with all the love that comes, there's the same amount of hate. So it's like, as, as normal human beings, th- th- what makes you think, like, we're not just going to yeah. snap back That's at some lose, point? That's a lose-lose battle. Cause That's a lose-lose. It is. It definitely is. They're getting what they want. Yeah, it is. They want to rise, and you're filling <sighs> your that brain where, uh, with... Yeah. Shit. He's right. He's right about that. Because we are the only ones that lose anything. Yeah, in that's situation. true. You're blocking your blessings. That's, that's how I got my Twitter. That's, that's how I got my Twitter account banned. 
Mm. And he went, and we were just me and Eddie were talking about it. The random shit he be saying is are perfect for Twitter. Yeah. And he just he just be saying it to us instead. My, my old tweets just, what, used a, to what a waste. Mm. Dude, what a waste. Why don't you why don't you do those those TikTok videos where it's you doing something with text? I used to do those a lot, but it's like, uh, I I just hate TikTok. Let's move to this next question. Would you choose a high paying job that you absolutely hate? You even start balding because of this job? Or would you choose a job that you're passionate and happy about, but the pay is low? Second. Second. 100%. Second, it's an easy one. First. I'm really? choosing the really? first one, yeah. What is high? You want to be a slave? Though? Well, exactly. It depends on the, on the how high, how low. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. But if it's high enough that I can make, because like if I can make my money in like three years and then put that in places where I don't have to work, period, that's what I would rather do. Uh, I don't want to work and be poor the rest of my life. Okay, even I was, if thinking, is that, was that an option, though? Yeah, I would, if you're getting a high paying salary. I know, no, I know, but I, I thought it meant like for you're the stuck rest with of your that life. Job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That's, because, that's because gotta be a very unrealistic scenario. Sorry. Sorry, we would all choose, no? The, the, the first one. one? Hell yeah. And then, yeah. If, no, if, why if it would was that only be? like three years. Yeah, if it's yeah. like that, yeah, then it's yeah. But it's too years. unrealistic to, to keep the No, because you could be a mong- m- mongry hungry. Mong- be a, a money hungry fuck. Yeah, but there's like, zero benefit to the first one if that's not the case. Like, that's not even a... Like you said, no, there's no question. Of course, somebody would choose the yeah. other option. But like, it, the only benefit to the first one is that are you willing to sacrifice a few years of your life to... I see. I see. I don't money. know if you could say it's a few years of your life. I think the person it could be ten it years. Goes. But ten like years. you know, I I would rather do that and set myself up for life, retire at like thirty five, than fucking work till I'm sixty seven. You hate the job and is balding. Like it's like the worst job ever. Yeah, a um, t- hundred million dollars will fix a bald head. So no, That's but, true, but again, but you're right. It has to be the amount of money. Let's say it's just like uh, the amount of money is hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Oh, and versus what sixty k a year? Yeah. No. Two hundred no two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year versus seventy five thousand dollars a year. Yeah, two hundred fifty. I'll take that. I would really, not. I would not. I think mental health is way too important. And I'm mentally resilient enough to just be unhappy for five. With years. With your bald head ass. I'll be bald. I don't give a fuck. Because I feel like if you're passionate about something, money is bound to follow you, anyways. No, I think, but it, most uh, of the time. So what? I don't like the. F- do what you're passionate about and like you're, you'll never work a day in your life. You're going to turn the thing that you're passionate about into a source of stress for you because you're, you rely on it for money. I think that's a more common scenario with people who try to take their passions and turn it into something they like. Low key, I'm, I'm feeling that way with, with bartending. Like I'm fucking, I'm like, people are like, oh, it's so great that you're doing something that you love. I'm like, I would have chosen what made more money if I could go back in time. Mm. I would have done something that was more lucrative, made my money faster, because I realized what I like doing is like just like, progressing in life, right? Like I don't want to just fucking do bar, because I love bartending. I still love bartending. I love cocktails, but like when I see the other things I could have put my time into that I'm like, that would have returned me way more money. I could have been done working so much sooner could have retired my mom sooner, like done all this shit sooner. I'm like, why the fuck, what the fuck does it matter that I'm slightly happier in an hourly basis? I'm not even that much slightly happier. I would be way happier not working at all. So I, I, I'm chasing that I, as soon as possible. I disagree because I've done shitty jobs that I hated and mm-hmm. I just could not But you weren't getting paid a lot. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm saying like I could have continued down a path. Like where I, when I chose to jump into CPG and start a drink company versus I could have gone to a, if I really tried harder, I could have got a high paying job at a, in a music company and I would have fucking hated it. I would have fucking hated it. But also and what you're doing right now is low pay now with high reward later. I, what, the question, the passion. it doesn't you're sound like there's a high reward later. So if there's Fuck a possibility, this question. move on. <laughs> no, I mean, I hate there's this. Already, we already know the studies that past $70,000 salary, it doesn't change your happiness. Like, all right, so forty thousand. Oh. You're living. You're living, kind of whack. Like, <laughs> like, like, like <laughs> kind of whack. Like, 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 wait, why yeah, did you yeah, compare yeah. seventy five thousand? That's not like bad. People can actually see exactly that. seventy five is comfortable. 40, forty thousand is actually low. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So seventy five thousand is like. I know. So, so that's said. why he's trying. He's trying to make the scenario yeah, you're more. Right. Yeah. So okay, what about two hundred fifty k a year? Yeah, or forty. Doing 000. something miserable, and it's not like you hate your job. Like you got to go out and kill baby goats every day. Mm-hmm. It's like finance. Accounting, music, right? Some some bullshit ass, meaningless. Like just your fucking. Your just coworkers interest. suck. Yeah, everything about it sucks. But you work seven days a week. You get to choose whatever job you do, but you're capped at forty thousand dollars a year doing the other job. Yeah. I'm picking the two fifty, and I'm done working in fucking. It's I'm gonna, not that much money. It's not that much money, but it's I can maybe I don't have to be done working, but like I'm like ten years. You save your money properly. You invest it properly. You can you can quit and not have to work. You can do other things like. Did you say two fifty is not enough? If you can build your money and quit, why can't my passion 
lead to a lead to some explosive thing. Maybe your passion is just unmonetizable. Now you're just adding parameters. That's not fair to the. This is not a good yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's too much context missing. This question. She's tearing us apart. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right what, what about what about you can you leave oh pig. You can leave the job in ten years to to start something else with your money, or you're you're doing the other job for twenty five years, and then after that you you might be able to you can you can turn it into something larger. Twenty five years. Why is that the number? It seems more 20. realistic, like ten. 20. You could, 10 is when you become ten, a master. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's say 10 for both. 10, 10, 10 for both. I don't know why I said 25 for the other one. Passion. Because I was like, you're happy. But 25. I, we used to make dog shit. I used to make 26,000 at, <laughs> at the label. And they that was before. slave wages. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Post, before they take the taxes. Before taxes. <laughs> and I, I had a great time back then. Like, I didn't, uh -huh. I didn't care about the money. You enjoyed your job back then? In the beginning, I did. Oh. Oh, it's like me here. I don't get paid shit, but I'm over here like, yeah! You love it. Yeah, five, five year plan, hopefully the show starts paying us. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Soon. Let's hey, like, comment, and subscribe right now so we can start paying them. And yeah. Spotify, audio. Spotify. Because these Definitely. stupid sponsors don't understand YouTube or TikTok views, they just yeah. want audio downloads. It's yep. strange. Like, Please. I'm gonna be here for like seven hours not getting paid, but I love it here. It's fun, it's fun. Yeah, I love, I love it. it. I genuinely, I like it. What the fuck is these at? We we, can't, we yeah. feed them. Yeah, we call them. What the fuck going on? By the way, you guys are allowed to give come them in purpose there. in life. Yeah, plug whatever you want. Wait, but you we said it was. We like it. That's not why we're with, here. Not with that smart ass tone. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. I love it here. All right, uh, this one. <laughs> He's his face froze. He's like, I didn't say anything. I know your face froze. You're like, I love it here. <laughs> As a good Asian girl who doesn't drink that much but wants to have sex with hot Asian guys, what can I do to make myself look more available and fun? Yo, as, a good, as a good Asian girl... Uh -huh. Who wants, who wants to have to, sex uh, uh -huh. with... Uh, who doesn't drink that much. She does, she's not a big drinker. Yeah. But she wants to have sex with hot Asian guys. What can I do to make myself look more available and fun? Just be confident. That, okay, that's the worst like, yeah, yeah, give some. Everybody okay, show your that. tits, damn. <laughs> Is that she got no tits. There's oh, only there's only no one, one one there's only one like valid answer to this. What is this? Open up Literally, just start asking guys if you they want to fuck you. You know nah, what? I, that's a little too desperate. Like yeah, if some girl like came up guys to me and said that, uh, guys would do it. Guys would. Guys, I think guys. Not, not, I think not, she not still she I think she still wants to be like. She wants some aspect of like feeling wanted. Seems like I think everyone does. She still wants to be respected. You know, <laughs> it's not gonna be like fuck me right now. But I do. Okay. <laughs> uh, DMs. Start DMing dudes. That's yeah. a direct line, and you're not going. And like, you could shoot out. You could hit on fifty hot guys at once, and then uh, you know, probably at least I don't know what you look like or you know, but anything. But like at least five, I think, will respond. Mm -hmm. And then what? it's game. Then it's all up to you. You can. You just gotta lay down the riz. Where do you think that girls could learn female game? I don't, because I don't There's really know. There's definitely some channels I've seen on TikTok that, but listen, female Subscribe game is. Subscribe to my Female channel. game is easy. You just got to make your intentions clear and compliment them a lot. Because even hot guys, unless they're famous, they don't receive a lot of compliments. Like stroke their ego. Female, yeah. female game, all you need to do is get that fucking, that look, that look down. Uh, that's pretty much DM, it. DM game though. We're talking about Can DM game. Can you show game. us the look down? I can't because I'm not a woman. This one? Try to, try, just try. Try your best. I, I mean, I wasn't talking about the up down look. That's man or woman. Oh. I was talking about like you know how like when you go out and like you catch a woman's eye. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, they, yeah. They yeah. give you that specific look, and then you know like oh like I can tell she's interested. Mm -hmm. It's it's a certain look that I cannot replicate. Mm. I read that book today, man. I'm using so many big words. Like replicate? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you you look wow. like you wanted to say something. No, I agree. I agree with the look thing. Like, there's a lot of girls that I see out in public that we make eye contact, but they're expecting me to come talk to them, mm. and I will never do that. <laughs> so, if they were the ones that come to talk to me, and when they do, they give me their number or whatever, and that's a higher success rate. So, mm -hmm. I would say if you're, it does come down to confidence. If you're willing to just like make eye contact, and then. Mm -hmm. so even just like yeah. a little small talk can eventually lead to something. Definitely. And don't be scared it's, it's of rejection. Different. Yeah, can't be scared of rejection is no. number one. I know that I know that's tough, and a lot of girls like they're scared of rejection. You know, that's why they don't go up to guys. I think but every human don't scared be scared. Of yeah, I know. But guys are way less scary to get rejected from than girls. Girls will 
shatter your ego in some cases. But guys, will, for the most part, I've never seen a guy like rudely reject yeah, a woman yeah. before. I've always let down girls. I've yeah, been rejected, softly. and I was okay with it. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because they always come back. But yeah, if you're too scared to go up to people in real life, get your Instagram profile a little more popping. You don't need a drink to do that. Like, just more pictures of yourself. They don't have to be scandalous. They just have to be clear so they can see what you look like. Don't use too many filters. No face tune. No <laughs> face tune. Why are you? Why are you guys? No <laughs> pictures from four talking? years ago. Oh my pictures God. of you now. Post stories often, and then you know follow dudes. Anyone that follows you back, you should slide on them if they don't yeah. slide on you already. And yeah. Follow little buns. And that way, you can go out with them For and more. get to know them one on one before you uh, have sex with hot Asian guys. And honestly, like dating, you you can only get better at dating through experience. So. Vin is available, by the way. Stop saying that. <laughs> Hot Asian guy right here. <laughs> you know how to get him too. Offer to buy him ramen. Go in his DMs right now. Okay. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Yeah, really all and it tell takes. him, tell him you'll beat him up. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Put on some like you know edgy like goth makeup like blah blah blah. Let's wrap this one. That was an hour. Yeah. And yeah. Half. Let's do it. Thank you for tuning in to Dollar Store Therapy. Thank you for watching the show. Remember, drink nectar hard seltzer. Delicious taste flavors, no aftertaste. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> nectar hard seltzer. The reason why this show exists. Please Yay. buy it. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you guys again next week. Love you. Yeah. Oh, and like, subscribe, comment, and and subscribe on audio platforms. You guys tell them what to comment. Like when you say comment, like oh. if somebody just said comment, uh, comment who's got the prettiest hair this week. Aw, thank you. Definitely me. I'm fucking. No, I touched this today. You don't see these buns? No, these are cuter. Alright. Wow. You really got all the way to the end. I really like that you did that. But since you're here, might as well like and subscribe and leave a comment on who's got the nicer hair. We're also giving away $50 every week to the funniest review of our podcast. All you gotta do is leave a review that'll make us giggle, screenshot it, and then text the number on the screen and you're automatically entered for a chance to win. Also, that's a real number. So you can just text us when you're lonely, you need a date to prom, or if you're looking for hot single moms in your area, text us. I'm Utak. I'm Jeremy. And, and we're, we're under the influence. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh.